Stand majestic with the black king Today I'll sing you a black song You need to hear about beautiful black things Cause most time we hear about black We hear about black magic and black witches Black list, black book, black market Black Friday, you spend off your black witches I've never seen a doctor in black Nor seen a black pill to cure no black people But I've seen bush doctors like Tash and Molly Resurrect like a real black beetle Malcolm, Marcus, Martin when you see Walter brought me ask him Oh you not hear about how we laughing So when the little offspring ask him Tell them They never told us That black is beautiful They never told us Black is beautiful They never told us That black is beautiful They never told us They never told us that black is beautiful And I go on like you never spend 500 years on a farm The same chain you are wearing and I go on Is another black life in Sierra Leone Boy, the find out mama earth got gold then The mine out mama earth black soul then You work hard just to get a black yard Same card where you swipe by back your black gold then Well, on, I see no faces long But this is not a racist song This is a song for the children who was never told about where the race is from they never hear it in them favorite songs Everybody come and say slavery's done What I got one when the babies come I start read about things like Dogans, Black, Kemet and Kush Black Kings, Black Senate and Books We teach about pyramids and put real significance to we physical looks So every word when we sing Black In my world everything Black Black, white, white, black, right back So don't be surprised if me say me king black Cause they never told us That black is beautiful They never told us Black is beautiful They never told us That black is beautiful They never told us They never told us that black is beautiful oh, no. That he preaches I wonder who taught him to preach mm. Teacher is teaching Where did he get his degree? Now it is no mystery Who taught us black history? He's up Good morning and welcome to the Morning Connection Coming to you live from the studios of Best 100 FM In Kingston, Jamaica 
Good morning to those who have joined us on air and to those of you who have joined us online, we welcome you. Good morning, Mr. Producer, Mr. Engineer. Good morning, Minette. Good morning, Pastor Percival. Good morning to Jamaica. It's good to know that you have joined us this morning and we are so grateful that you have joined us. It's now time for our 6.30 break. When we come back, it's been a very interesting day. Yesterday. Already? Yes, it is. Versus living in a parallel universe. It where it's day all day. You understand. <laughs> all right, we'll be right here. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Best 100 FM brings you youth resilience and empowerment with Royton McLaren each and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. till 7.30 p.m., a program that can enhance the family, stabilize in youth's behavior, and be empowering. So tune in to Best 100 FM each and every Tuesday night where negative behaviors and attitude can be changed. The station with the best, 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 best music. Best music. I love the, I music. Love the music. Best music. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659. Nine, ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Yes, Hi, I'm Roy Tenny Miller and I invite you to join me on the return of Inside the Soil every Monday morning between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Join the conversation as I take a look into the agriculture sector and ask the questions which you want to hear answers to. That's Inside the Soil with Roy Tenney Miller for news, views, and interviews on the agricultural sector here on Best 100 FM Radio every Monday morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Tune in and Tune talk in. to me. And Tune talk in. to me. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. <laughs> Vidjam Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vidjam Printers, your best choice in printing. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning and welcome back. Pastor Percival, how are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very, very good. 
if you had to respond on behalf of the nation, how would you say we are this morning, we this are. Wednesday morning, with one day to Two. nomination day? Mm. Well, how would you say? Answer for Jamaica. Jamaica, how are you <laughs> this morning? We're doing good. How are you? We are how waiting are you? with are you? bated breath for the day. And it's, it's significant. Tomorrow is the 8th day of February. Mm -hmm. And you know the number eight has great significance. It signals a new beginning. Mm -hmm. What a thing. Seven plus one. Yes. New beginning. S one being the number of perfection in God. He's very good. Yes. So and I don't know if people know. And the number one signifying God. Mm -hmm. Seven is perfect. Yes. But you know. Very good God. He's a very good God. And he is not slack concerning his promises. You know that what him said, right? Yeah, that word slack is, used to be used so much in my father's <laughs> time. <laughs> it used to Slackness. <laughs> your, in your uh, father's time. My father's time. It was a favorite. God's hand is not slack. Oh, he, he would say that? Yes. Oh, wow. It's in the Bible. It's God is not slack concerning his promises. Wow. Wow, the front page of the Gleaner. I mean, is everything now shrouded in green? It green is. is supposed to be a soothing color, but... Okay. So, what is the... I, I'm waiting to see how... I told you from yesterday. I'm curious to see how the media is going to be handling things. You're, Are you're they going to alternate? Yes. That, how they're running the color scheme. There's a bit of orange on the front of the Gleaner. It's a oil stained love. <laughs> front of the gleaner. <laughs> See there? <laughs> oil stained love. <laughs> See oh, the that's an advert, isn't it? <laughs> See the orange bottle? <laughs> no, but it is. Nothing to do with politics. But well, everything else seems to be all about the guys in green. The guys in green? Mm -hmm. yeah, and somebody girls. Somebody said the man said a little green man. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I remember a, 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 a friend of mine says, is this a green man that might come? But when we were growing up, green men signify people who came from Mars, you know? Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yes. The little, the, yes. the little green men from Mars. Martians have invaded. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have no invasion of Martians in the place. Yeah, you look ready to start us off with a little nugget from, yeah, from um, your big book of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> no, my book of principles. The, by yeah, the happiness, instructions. Man. By living on earth before leaving earth. You know, that's what somebody says what Bible means. Oh, yes, yes, before yes. Before leaving earth. Basis for living before leaving the planet earth. I have been, um, I've been burdened is probably a good word for it. I've just been feeling an overwhelming need to be constantly calling the names of individuals and just saying a word of prayer. Okay. Um, the spirit is up on you. I, I've just, I'm just heavy with the awareness mm -hmm. that people are going through many, many, many difficulties. And as someone crosses your mind, Pray and I'm going to try and say hello to my friend Glenn. Mm -hmm. I think I only have two friends named Glenn, so if mm -hmm. either of you are listening. Um, I long to hear from you, is what I'm saying to my mm -hmm. friend. But he's been in my thoughts, and I am just in prayer. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, for those persons who truly believe that our relationship with the divine creator is a beneficial one, mm -hmm. you have to just keep drawing on it, largely because it's inexhaustible. Mm -hmm. you, there's no point at which you're, you will get a... Um, do you know like when your iCloud storage get full? <laughs> get full. Oh, it, it, it's it a, actually it, get full? You get full. I do. So what do you do? They invite you to buy more storage. Oh, so you can't clear so what is there? Well, yes, you can go in and manage it, but uh, absent carelessness on your path, what's there is what you have created. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I remember going through one season when I just said, you know what? The photos that I have, I have enjoyed the moment already. Just <laughs> delete them. And that's what you did? Yes, because I refuse to. I feel like it's a scam. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. the, to be put under this pressure to buy more storage, buy more storage. and you, Buying more storage, because it's digital, it's invisible, it's in the cloud. It's not like you can walk in and see a room full of things <laughs> and become aware that you have accumulated too many mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So I go through my moments when I just say, you know what? Let's clean it up. Let's get rid so of it. So you can throw it on a thumb drive or something like that. Yeah, man, you can download it to some place. But uh, part of what it, we have to contemplate in this this generation is just how many things are you going to accumulate? Mm -hmm. You're still accumulating them even if you're not seeing them. Sometimes you want to visualize them as physical things in a room, in a book somewhere, and just ask yourself, when am I going to go back over those, look at those? And if you are thinking, oh, it's of historical significance, to whom? Not even your children mm -hmm. want to look at it. And I had... I had the honor and the um, horror of clearing out the effects of my aunt when she died. Mm -hmm. And I feel some <laughs> discomfort at how easily it, you just rifle through the things and, and create piles. Give away, throw away. Give away, throw away. And some of the things you, you're, you're like looking at them and saying, why did anyone keep this? Mm -hmm. But obviously, it was, of it was of some sentimental value. And, you know, photos that you could no longer even tell who's in the photo. They were so faded, mm -hmm. but they were still in, the in, in the middle of things, right? So as I was doing it, I tell you, it's a sobering exercise. Any one of you who want to feel the tap on their shoulder of your own mortality, go and clean up somebody's house after they've died. Mm. I mean, all the things that they regarded as precious, things that you probably couldn't touch during their lifetime, garbage. Mm. It's just there, I mean. And then you also understand, too, how people view Unless it's gold bonds aren't bars or stocks and things of that you can convert immediately to cash, you also have to persuade their loved ones to keep a memento. Oh, okay. Because everybody says, I have no space to put it. it down, so. Am I gonna? Mm. so, the other day you were looking at the... Um, the foolish man who says, oh, I can travel the world, sit back, <laughs> and enjoy my money. Luke 12. Yeah, the fool, the one who, of whom it was said, thou fool, tonight, mm -hmm. you and I shall be meeting up on the other side. <laughs> How are you going to give? It's where your soul is required of yeah. you. What are you going to do? And the, the seminal lesson from it being that life does not consist of an abundance of possessions. Recognizing that to be so, you have to just become a minimalist. Mm -hmm. To to suit a clothes, <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know, you know. It's interesting. You know, that is so very interesting that you you say that in terms of. I tell people all the time that what my faith in God has done for me. Mm -hmm. It has given me a perspective on life and things, if nothing else. Um, it just it just get a, a proper perspective of how you must hold things in tension in your life. Mm -hmm. Life does not consist in the abundance of things that you have. Yeah. Now, I spoke here before how I traveled in um, October last year. Yes. I returned to the island and my suitcase is still lost somewhere. You get it? Never got the suitcase. So I didn't Never know. got the suitcase. Was invited by one of the airlines who seemed to be responsible for its disappearance. Invited by the airline to fill out a form saying what's in the bag and to place its value. And just a few things that made absolutely no sense, just infuriated you and, you know, threatened your salvation. One was the instruction to produce a, re a receipt in, in support of anything that cost more than one hundred dollars. Where you gonna do that if you have been having those things for many years? <laughs> Tell you, yeah. Um, the other is applying your mind to the and they want date of purchase, where you purchase it, the make and the color, and you know precise description. And how much you paid for it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And on, the, on top of that, you must say, you must produce a receipt. Some of the things, as you say, that you've had for years and their value far exceed the cash cost, you now have to acknowledge that this airline plans to give you no more than a hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the moment you see something that says produce a receipt, it means that if you can't produce a receipt, they're gonna cap it at a hundred dollars if they give you anything at all. But more than anything else, it took us days to complete it because after missing the suitcase for over three months, about the only thing you could remember that was in it are the things that you know, kind of stand out in your memory. Mm-hmm. Like in South Africa, we had done an appearance on a program and we had pictures of what we wore. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> so that's what you remember. What? So I remember that um, Lowell had worn a beautiful, now that was a brand new tuxedo suit mm. that he took for an event that we we're going to attend. And so mm-hmm. clearly remember that. You I remember. Do remember I might the receipt for that. Well, we can't get it because it was such a recent purchase. Okay. The receipt is somewhere in the one? house. I, yes, it just was any cast you said. Yeah. Remember the, the, yeah. the, the, the things. Oh, boy. Yeah, so um, I could get back the receipt, but we sent that off um, weeks ago, and the airline has not even acknowledged receipt of it. And to be honest, it's like the more energy you invest in it, the the more distressed you feel. Mm-hmm. So... But it did show me that some of the things, uh, when you can't remember the things in a suitcase um, and you're living without it, without saying, God, I wish I had that thing. Mm -hmm. It being lost takes Mm -hmm. nothing from you. Yeah. Probably. So now, traveling again, and I said to Lowell, we've got to figure out how to go with just hand luggage. That makes sense. So <laughs> <laughs> that so, makes a whole lot so, of sense. Yeah. So you get even more minimalist in your approach now. You're thinking one pair of jeans, four shirts, t shirts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, one pair of shoes and the one that you have on your feet that you wear. So you mm-hmm. have two. We're just trying to figure it out. Try to get two ounce bottles so you can have put every conceivable thing you might need in the little bottles that are allowed on the aircraft oh, no. because even things like your perfume and deodorant and so on you can't if they're a certain size you can't Can, check them you, you, can't you have to check them so we got to work through that because i now feel very very mistrustful <laughs> of airlines for years i didn't even I, if you move from the first time you travel you put a padlock on a code and and you speak some incantations over your luggage because oh. you're just not sure when you'll meet again the first few times. And then you realize that, what, 99% of the luggage gets safely be in that 99 And then finally, I get you're to a in point. No, I'm in the 1%. In the 1%. Not even I'm the 1%. Like- I'm in the point something something of the one percentile because most people whose baggage gets delayed you get it back. Get it back. Right. But you are in the one that... No, I'm in the it. one that it has evaporated into the ethos. Oh, boy. And the weirdness of it is airlines that are so particular about tagging and marking and recording and documenting, they cannot even say which flight it, it was the bag was on. Mm-hmm. So, hey, Can we life does not consist of an abundance of things. So, therefore, I will sing of mercy and loving kindness. <laughs> Let me, um, this is Psalms 100. It's a segue. Uh, yes, in Psalms 100. And one, um, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. What happened? Hmm? The atmosphere, the atmosphere has shifted in this room. Okay, <laughs> I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I'll praise you with song. I'll be careful to live a blameless life. When will you come to help me? I'll lead a life of integrity in my own home. I refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all who deed crookedly. I have nothing to do with them. I'll reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbors. I'll not endure conceit and pride. 
I will search for faithful people to be my companions. Mm. Only those who are above reproach will, uh, will be allowed to serve me. I will not allow deceivers to serve in my house. And lies will not stay in my presence. My daily task will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord from their grip. Yeah, and then you wonder, then, why brother Percy gone there this morning? I am just... Did I hear you say the word grip? Yes. No, as we're talking about suitcase? <laughs> yes. That's why you went there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a grip in the Psalms. Uh, yes, no, it's a grip means something like the whole lot. Oh, to Percy. Us. Tell me what grip <laughs> mean again. <laughs> but in Jamaica, you see, it's interesting how our language is. It, it literally... You, you, yeah, you gotta grip, grip your, your grip. grip. You have to <laughs> grip your grip. So we just gotta go for your grip. See, if I were gripping my grip, yes. it wouldn't disappear. It wouldn't disappear. Hand luggage, <laughs> it shall be. Earl Brown says, take a backpack, and you know he's a world traveler. Yeah, same, just take so a backpack. Good with advice. The we take on a you. backpack and a carry on. That's actually what we decided to do. But I have, um, <laughs> <laughs> I messed you up with the grip. No man, I will sing. This is David speaking. Let me look at that psalm. Is it Psalms one hundred and one? I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I will praise you with songs. It's, these are declarations that he is making. Lord, we take a position as individuals in this country. We'll sing of your love that knows no bound and your justice upon which your throne is established. I'll praise you with songs. I'll be careful to live. He's taking a decision. I will be careful to live a blameless life. Then he says, when will you come to help me? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. It really begins with your personal life, your personal. I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. My version says I will not look with approval. <laughs> So he, kn he knows it, it, his it, eyes will drop, drop on it, but he will not no love it. Prove it. He will not love it. I hate all who deal crookedly. I'll have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. We're talking to Jamaicans now because we are in the silly season. And a lot of crooked things are beginning to happen. I've been going happening for some time, but perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I I I personally have taken to heart the word of the Lord says, flee the very appearance of evil. Not evil, you know. They, it looked like the evil. The, I'm gonna run away. It's going that way. I'm going in the upward direction. Because there are people who have set out their perverse ideas and they have set out to do wickedly. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbors. I'll not endure conceit and pride. Pride goes before a fall. I will search for faithful people to be my companions. Careful of the people that you are associating with. You know, only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. That's the decision. I think more and more people are coming to. Only those who are above reproach. What does reproach mean? Uh, it, uh, in a Jamaican, right? I mean, people with reproach. Are we, are, we, are we speaking about people that we deal with every will be allowed to serve me and not allowed to see us to serve in my house and lives will not stay in my presence my daily task will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord free Jamaica from their grip these are decisions that people need to be making now what I notice about it is that the, the writer yeah. is making vows. Yes, man. These are not things he has already done. Mm -hmm. So, the, to a, a listener <laughs> who is saying to himself, I couldn't live that high standard. Mm -hmm. He hasn't lived it yet. 
And if it's David, we know he didn't live it all the time. Ah, of David, a son. Yes, man. So we understand that he is just making a vow. He's making decisions. He's saying, I, I will wills. sing. I will conduct. I will not look. I'm going to seek to live a certain way. I will have no part in what dishonest people do. Mm -hmm. I will have nothing to do <clears throat> with what is evil. These are commitments that all of us can make right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. And, uh, you know, when we go into prayer later, this is the position of the heart that we, uh, we are advocating and just starting from this point in the program, preparing the senses to contemplate how we live, you know, consider your ways. Mm -hmm. Scripture says we must consider our ways. Our consider how we live, mm -hmm. who we are and how we behave, and making the kind of commitment that says, I'm going to shift from this way of doing things. We're in a season, though, Pastor Percival, where the very technology that is used to create so much mayhem mm. is a very, very useful tool in bringing light to some of the behaviors from which we should be distancing ourselves. And now we are seeing, oh, this is the same knife, stick, goat, stick, sheep. Yes, it is. Just the same way we are showcasing things that really ought not to be on the front page and we should hide it. And, well, mm. I say hide. You should keep it private. Mm -hmm. There are some things which are meant to be private by their very nature. They're meant to be private. But a lot of us have things out there showcasing um, and it in, a, in a way that harms and cause confusion. Mm -hmm. That video, that mm -hmm. video, mm -hmm. which is the talk of which the town. Which um, <laughs> Please don't join those who use that <laughs> word. <laughs> I'm just tongue in cheek. You know, no, splice. take your tongue out of your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> You don't want to bite, bite it or bite swallow it. Bite yeah, it. No, yeah. Man, no, sir. That video is one such where, as I said, the cameras were rolling to catch a licensed firearm holder. I hope he's licensed. It would be even worse if he's not. To see a man give himself room to pull a firearm and point it at another citizen who had his back turned and was, what would say then, cowering. I don't know what he thought that would buy for him except to show to whomever was um, looking that he had his back turned and was not attacking anyone. So this video, making the rounds, I'm sure many of you have seen it. It's not the video that is disturbing. It's to hear our own prime minister confronted about the video did he see it? <laughs> First he had obviously that. seen it mm. because he had much to say about it when he should have merely said, the matter should be investigated. I can make no useful comment at this stage. It's not because people put microphone in your face, you need to say anything. I mean, you're a grown man. You don't need to pander to the public. When something is wrong, if you feel you're not in a position to say plainly that it is wrong, be quiet. This is what we expect of a prime minister, one who has integrity and is a mature individual. There's no need for you to say, to begin to talk about and obviously um, edited and we don't know the fullness of it and self-defense self and begin to parrot the nonsense. That's what the press release said anyway. You know, that that uh, careless people I, speak. I hear it, man. I am hearing you very clearly, okay, Mr. Excellent. Producer. No. Welcome. Good morning. First of all, good morning, listeners. I saw the thing, and, and I'm very, very disappointed. Disturbed? Disappointed? Yeah, Only you had higher must be more responsible. Mm. You must be more responsible. In one breath, you're saying that the thing is being investigated. Mm -hmm. Leave it there. You must speak about violence in general, and people must refrain, control yourselves in terms of how you behave, and so on. But when you're going to go on to talk about video being spliced and all of these no, things, did you put it in a lab to see what, what went on with it? No, he didn't use the word spliced. Or he said edited. Edited. Because he know the technology yes. some well, old I, time I people. No <laughs> Let me use <laughs> it. <laughs> no, yes. that's, that's why I'm trying to keep Percy <laughs> away from it. Edited, right? <laughs> that's irresponsible. Oh, dear. You don't expect <laughs> your leaders to, 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 mm. to say things like those. 
And there's back brown to yes. that whole thing. But uh, let me see who well, from the Gleaner season, wrote you know, it. Don't forget, it is silly season. Kimon Francis of the Gleaner, senior staff reporter, had this to say: the 50-second long video footage seen by the Gleaner, which appeared to be spliced, begins with a woman counting what appeared to be money by the passenger window of a white motor vehicle. With the obvious effort to be technically correct in the use of language, you'd expect that a person writing in today's news media would know that splicing is for that, what do you call that thing, the tape? Mm. <laughs> that you can yes. <laughs> cut out a yeah, piece yeah, of it and, and you, you splice, you insert or you take out. Nobody's splicing anything in this digital environment. It may have been edited, if one can do such, but when the emphasis is, is made that it appears to be edited, it invites the curious onlooker to just wonder what would have been taken out. The part where he says, okay, um, we're going to pretend to fight and I'm going to draw this wooden object that looks like a gun. I mean, what would one have taken out of something like that? Yes. Which, which shows yeah, sufficiently know, damaging information the import, the, when you look at that thing you have one man who, who has nothing in his hand mm -hmm. right and you have a man pulling a gun who clears himself right? from the f and from the fracas that you so he could pull his firearm and i'm not making any judgment really but yeah. when you look at the reports i'm saying no no it can't be a man who is armless and you Right, a man who is unarmed. Who is un unarmed, sorry, armless. Yes, wow, you did say he's armless. <laughs> yes, unharmed. A man who is unharmed. unarmed. Yes, and you pull a firearm against that man. Mm. No, I, I sincerely hope that the powers that be, the firearm authority, is looking into this behavior as well, because we need to be more responsible. Hmm. We need to be more yeah. responsible. Yeah, and so this is both a man in the heat of the moment who does something stupid. It's easier to forgive him that than to true. forgive someone who observes it and soberly says all kinds of things that make no sense. The same person who has championed the passage of laws which penalize people who are yes. convicted of gun crimes. Yes. That same man is going to talk about you don't know what has been. Oh, it's no, too it's, wearisome. we we'll take a break. Yes. 702. I know Earl Brown laugh at us each time we take a break, but go on, Earl. We soon meet up. <laughs> we'll Register. be right back. www.bestfm.com Streaming live on the internet. on your dial. Keep listening. Families across the island have been benefiting tremendously from restorative justice interventions. Dubbed Justice That Heals, restorative justice focuses on accountability and repairing damage done in interpersonal relationships. Restorative Justice Week is being observed from February 4 to 11 with a range of activities planned to celebrate the period. Join us for some of the highlights of the week so far. Stay tuned. According to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, from the start of the year up to February 3, the country recorded 83 murders and 88 shooting incidents. It is within this context that the Justice Ministry is promoting the message of transformation, peace and harmony through restorative justice, the theme for this year's Restorative Justice Week observance. Leading the charge at Sunday's National Church Service to kick off the week, Justice Minister Delroy Chuck bemoaned the large number of criminal activities that arise due to unresolved differences. He assured Jamaicans that restorative justice is the solution to the conflicts wreaking havoc across the island. Talk things out. Violence doesn't solve anything. It is not the answer. If we truly want a secure, just and peaceful society, we have to promote peace and harmony. So I, I extend to Jamaicans, please work out your disagreement, 
don't get into conflicts. But if you do, we will help you with restorative justice. Another highlight of the week was the re-signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Justice and Education Ministries on Monday to use RJ practices as a conflict resolution tool in schools. The value of this partnership has been evident in recent years in light of the violent confrontations among students and teachers. So far, we've successfully trained over 8,000 participants, and this is inclusive of not just students, Students, but also parents and teachers as well, various administrative staff. We have taken this collaborative approach, recognizing that the school is a major socializing agent for society. And so what better fitting space in addition to our churches and our homes, where we can then equip persons with the proper conflict resolution strategies. Restorative Justice Branch Director Jonah Lee Robertson. Ms. Robertson notes that the main activity of Restorative Justice Week, the annual RJ conference slated for today, is focused on youth participation. We want for young persons to have a voice. We want for them to contribute. We want for them to share how it is that we can make our services better, how it is that we can reach them. We want them to be a part of the dialogue because restorative justice and restorative practices is not one-sided. It's all-inclusive and so everybody has a say. In the meantime, a joint sensitization initiative on helping families plagued by violence was held in downtown Kingston as part of RJ activities across the island. RJ partnered with the JCS Domestic Violence Outreach Team and the Victim Services Division to educate persons on how to peacefully resolve disputes. In giving credence to the fact that restorative justice really works, the Justice Minister shared two success stories. I have seen at our annual Restorative Justice Week testimonials. One bishop, bishop of the church, whose family was being torn apart. They decided to come to restorative justice. And he and his son, with some reluctance, face one another. They have a spoon for years. And he reported at one of our annual Restorative Justice Week. He and his son now talk twice per day. Last year in St. Anne Baptist Church, a lady in giving her testimonial said when she got married, she thought she and her husband should be one flesh, but they have not really been one flesh. They argue every day and she encouraged her husband to come to the Restorative Justice Center and she's now able to say with her husband there, we are now one flesh. And she begged persons in the church last year, please, if you have a broken relationship with your spouse, go to Restorative Justice, repair it it reconcile and restore that relationship. Justice Minister Delroy Chunk, speaking at the Restorative Justice Week 2024 National Church Service at New Beulah Moravian Church in Manchester. For more information on restorative justice, contact the Ministry of Justice toll-free at 888-JUSTICE or 888-587-8423 or visit their website at moj.gov.jm. That's it for today's feature. Thanks for listening. I'm Cheryl Johnson-Hamilton. A production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Roy Tenny Miller, and I invite you to join me on the return of Inside the Soil every Monday morning between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 noon. Join the conversation as I take a look into the agriculture sector and ask the questions which you want to hear answers to. That's Inside the Soil with Roy Tenny Miller for news, views, and interviews on the agricultural sector here on Best 100 FM Radio every Monday morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Tune in and Tune talk in. to me. And Tune talk in. to me. Tree, one and drive, one and drive. Bossy, how we, how we are you take taxi star? I want to tell you, say, at two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and I check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, we waste all that time and shop around and never call the experts. Winters ought to have them. Them have over 35 years of experience and them diagnose the problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service excellent and efficient. Trust me man. You yeah, hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me send you. You are your big star. Yeah man, respect my boss. I try and call you because know, trust me. Spares and repairs. Good afternoon. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. Vidjan Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vidjan Printers, your best choice in printing. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, welcome back to The Morning Connection. It is now 13 minutes after 7 o'clock as we continue to just reflect on happenings in our nations we know that we are in the political season a lot of us a lot of us would have seen that video being circulated um i went to psalm 101 and there are some decisions i believe in this season that we will have to take on an individual basis as to how we are going to act the, the our decision making and how our beaver is going to be. Um, and I will not allow deceivers to serve in my house. And Lazarus will not stay in my presence. My daily task will, will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord from their grip. This is David speaking. He, he made some very strong statements, would you not say, Miss Millet? Um Yes, but they're not they're not statements as much as they're the, the vows. vows. Yes, vows. and this that's what appeals to me that it is not outside the purview of anyone who says you know I want to perform in a better way. When you speak like that and you make those kinds of commitments with self, because nobody's pulling it out of him, mm. um, or maybe one could say the Lord. 
has moved his heart to utter these kinds of um, commitments, we can each do it. Um, but to the back to the video because from for more than two uh, two years now we've been speaking about the battlefield of the mind. Um, many of us have been waiting on World War Three based on all the things we get out of pop culture, and even those avid readers of the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation anticipating that some cataclysmic and very violent physical confrontation that will consume or involve all the countries of the world or the major countries of the world. We've been kind of anticipating it and anticipating it and we look at how people get stalemated in the whole use of nuclear arms and the nuclear arms race and you know everybody trying to figure out who will press the button what not what not but more and more it has emerged that the strategy for warfare has moved from the very crude arm to arm combat mm -hmm. getting more distance between man and man now it's drone strikes it's surgical um, operations that seek to just deal mm, concisely with what you are addressing. And people are sitting at their desks and launching and completing wars without even getting up to change their clothes. Mm -hmm. That is what has happened, yeah. And then we saw that there is an, uh, the possibility to engineer the transfer of power by simply working the nerves of the people. And just, we, you know, I tell you, nothing new under the sun. There are many stories in the Bible of armies that fled and left everything. Not yeah. one shot fired, <laughs> no bow or spear um, engaged. Just confusion. Just confusion in the camp. And they, they heard a sound. Uh, yes, they heard a that. sound like an army marching through the tops of the trees. <laughs> and they fled. They see something shining in the distance. It looks like a pool of blood. And they oh, fled. Yeah. So we see all of those things, which is, is saying that in an instance, things can just shift and change. Beyond that, it's saying, if you perceive it to be so, it is so. <laughs> it is so. <laughs> it is so. Um, and so the whole thing of misinformation and disinformation And comes. just just speaking anything, and if somebody catches it, it and, and believes, believes it, it no then Lord. it is done. So you realize now that even the money that people are prepared to shell out, you said it's what? 10000 to $30,000 per vote? I don't know how you got the rate sheet. Who gave you the rate sheet? <laughs> but... Even the money that some people are prepared to shell out, they must recognize now that, oh my goodness, I can keep my cash and just tell a lie so artfully, so convincingly, with such great confidence that I don't even need to spend money because the ones to whom I have fed that rubbish will suck it up and go forth, do likewise, and maybe bring a friend or two. Hey, but, you, but you know, just goes back to the words of my deceased papa. He was saying, Tom Joe. <laughs> Tom no fool. <laughs> Tom no fool. <laughs> Tom is not fool at all. <laughs> and and I you I keep I've been saying this. It's almost two 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 and a half, three years now. We've mm -hmm. been We're approaching the end of Jesus' um ministry. ministry. <laughs> so anything that go for three, three and a half years. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it 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 might come to an end. I was thinking about that this morning. I it, said, Hold it, on a minute. It's, it's almost three years. But when we, it, but when we he, get there, we must know. He he said that, and in terms of what, what are you you're thinking. About? No, Tom drunk, but Tom the fool. No, no, but just which one? <laughs> you the, lost the, the, me. No, no, I'm just saying that there is in us as Jamaicans mm. an innate intelligence that we can shift out, sift out, sift like a sieve, mm -hmm. and make sense out of nonsense and when we've made up our minds nothing can shift that so so you're speaking about spiritual discernment yes it because is. this here nation of people is more, more spirit spiritual. than flesh yeah, it's not a joke you know that I is know. a serious yeah. thing and that's and that half the why, mystery and half, the beauty yeah, of jamaica yeah that is why people cannot understand us 
in a lot of ways. I said, but how oh, such a little country has such great significance and punches 50 times above what they should be doing in the world. And it comes out of an innate spirituality that we have as Jamaicans, which I am, you have traveled, I've traveled. I'm just trying to understand where it comes from. Well, I know where mine comes from, and I'm 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 drawing on it right now, and I'm I'm, I'm saying, anyone, if when you read this blow by blow, frame by frame description of what transpired, and the Gleaner continues to to, they describe it, they describe it fairly well, mm-hmm. and except for the comment about splicing, which is just technically incorrect, mm-hmm. um. And, and unsubstantiated because if you're going to say that it appears to have been edited, then you should at least say why you think so. And, then, um, and send it to evidence, the experts. Evidence yeah. can be the, the, the thing started with the man in a red shirt and in the next scene he's in a blue shirt. And there's no record of him going to change his shirt. That's how you know when a thing has been edited. It lacks continuity. Mm-hmm. Or you may hear a word starts in one frame and a different word is completed in the next frame. If you see evidence of like that, say it because you are providing useful information to persons who know. This is an important incident because it's kind of like the largest thing to have happened as the government is in parliament Di- driving the nails in the coffin of the political okay. ombudsman, and it, 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 trying to sell us a bill of goods that when you put it before the ECJ, nine conflicted individuals are going to do a better job of addressing these day-by-day pick a uni encounters, except that this is a big one, and we are going to get a better result than when you had a dedicated staff. I, for one, am not averse to seeing government cut down Get rid of some of these many offices that spring up. As soon as we misbehave, we create a new office, a new prefect to to oversee like this little it. aspect of our, our life. A little prefect. Like yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> yes. Before you know it, we have several. It's like tumors in the body. You behave bad, something grow, and you set somebody to oversee what is happening there. You don't want to cut it out, stamp it out rid the body of it. You want to create a little room and an office with a staff and a logo and a mission and another cost on the public purse. So I'm not fighting for us to have an office that obviously has to be supported by tax dollars. But if you are moving something out of the system simply because it has now become an annoyance to to, some people (laughs) to some people and because you want to run amok with the behavior that this office was designed to contain, then everybody should have a problem. Mm-hmm. Because that the ombudsman was, the office was terminated, basically, in, in the aftermath of Minister Warmington saying some very unsavory things about the office. I think he, he said, he referred to it, he referred to it as an office that was no longer relevant and likes would soon be discontinued. Or he used words to to signal the death of the office. So there was no surprise when very shortly, using the powers that they have, you start to hear all this talk about not continuing with the office and moving its function somewhere. But you know what? In all things, you mean it for evil and God turn it for good. Because this movement of the functions into the ECJ, EOJ, you're putting it in a place where they prepare the ballots. Mm. They are the ones who have the say on whether a name gets printed or not. Oops, I forgot to put Mr. Jones' name on the ballot. Mm -hmm. Or Mr. Mr. Walker is not a candidate. The fact of the matter is you're putting it in a place where if they take it seriously... Some of the reforms for which we are agitating will come like so because we know that there are some persons who should be rendered ineligible to appear on a ballot. Mm-hmm. Wow. But now that the man who prepared the ballot is also the man who should consider the behavior of candidates, you may see some very interesting penalties coming up. No soft tap on the wrist, you go give a, a, a contribution to your favorite charity or to the other man's favorite charity, which would seem to have been the worst that the former 
holder of the office or caretaker of the responsibilities could do. Now, you have the one who guards the representation of the People's Act. And if they want, they can say, listen, some of this behavior that I see, these people are not worthy to be coming at their name, to be appearing on any ballot that I produce. Mm-hmm. But, but you know, have you, have you read the account? Yes. In the, in from the other person reporting. Yes, yes. yes. It's interesting. Yes, yes. Um, the There was a statement that said this is not political. I don't know if it was the lawyer who said it or the politicians who said it. Um, But they're trying to say it's not political. The other side of the incident, Mr. Walker, Mm. who is a businessman, who when you see the car, you can't really tell that the car is not on the public roadway. But in his account, it it seems to be agreed that the vehicle was on Mr. Walker's property. Mm Mm-hmm. So a man comes on your property and allegedly tells you that the shirt you're wearing is an offense to him. Take it off because JLP done, rid already, done win already. Mm-hmm. It is political. It is intimidation. It is exactly what the, ombudsman, the ombudsman's office should be concerned about. Mm-hmm. How candidates disport themselves in public, threatening, that, instructing him to go take off his shirt. The relative here says that Mr. Walker, who has a problem hearing, was, a hear, co- has was a coming hearing from the doctor, actually. And it was from the mo- doctor. And him go over him. They hear him say, go to say. When when to, to, yes. To find out. <laughs> or maybe he was saying, did you really say that to me? And my, what you say? And drew closer. And, <laughs> the <man. laughs> and then the fisticuffs. And then he was roundly abused by some other people. <laughs> Gun drawn on him right there in his property. And yet, all of us see that. All of us see it. And Mr. Morgan, Minister of Information, who cannot... Information. He can't be... He couldn't have been speaking as Minister of Information, so he's speaking as a in GLP his political... Pot, uh, yeah. Yes. Mr. Morgan is going to describe it as a man clearly Confronted defending himself. A, a, by two who appear to support the PMP which compel him to take evasive action for his safety. What was the evasive action? Pulling a weapon? <laughs> against. It, 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 yeah. it, what is the threat that he was defending himself against? And, and maybe Walker is... One th- man, right? First, both of them were in a tussle. Then another man came in, run on a fly kick. Poof! Right, they had him and on the held ground. him on the ground, held and Mr. then you Walker have a third man who came. And I don't even sh- I'm not even sure what purpose that third man served, but it clearly wasn't to rescue him. I thought he was coming to help. It then clearly wasn't that. to rescue him. Rescue Mr. Walker, rescue Mr. Jones. Rescue? No, Mr. Jones had left. Listen, man, when I say rescue, it can't be the man that is yeah, aggressive. That, it must that be took the his other gun one. and left. He left the, the frame. You don't see him. I still beat him. Um, I beat Mr. And Walker. Mr. Walker was on the ground with two. So men. you explain to me now where is the threat to your life that, that and, warrants and your pulling your, your firearm and, and, and let's hold. say there was some the threat. The man coward when he saw Turned his when back he saw the firearm him, him crouch the ground. and yeah. him you yeah. know expecting we all saw to it. feel it. We all saw it. So, come so on. I'm only saying to Jamaicans now that it is the careful. battlefield of the mind. And there are words, when words are said, and you might not be thinking even about what you saw, but the voice speaking, you like the voice, and next thing you're nodding along and saying, yes, yes, yes. Quite reasonable. Quite reasonable. Because but he's clearly defending himself. Let the inv- mm. investigation take place. And they have a, no, but and they have the a, attorney they, now who says, resist any attempt to politicize the matter. I saw him on I don't the TV. Know. Look like. You no, know. don't. don't. <laughs> <We're not going laughs> Hold there. that thought. <laughs> no, but you see, the relative said that the family has agreed to drop the charges against Mr. Jones out of fear for their lives. Let me tell you something. And they speak about receiving calls, calls from, from many, many JLP supporters yeah, man, who it. are saying yeah. to them, who are asking them things like, what are they prepared to lose? Yes. Uh huh. What are you prepared to lose? We're yeah. scared and agreed not to press charges. Yes. He's a PNP supporter. Our family has both sides. So we definitely don't look at politics here. We just want justice. That's what I spoke about yesterday. Mm-hmm. The cry for justice 
in the nation. No, I was saying, as we we're like right on the break, I was saying that a prime minister who championed the passing of gun laws, laws to severely penalize persons for gun offenses, mm. should not even equivocate on the matter. A gun is drawn in a public Please. arena. You, the police should be investigating it. No, the FLA should be all over it. Of course. And we see nothing, nothing coming from those official quarters. In fact, Mr. the man went to Danny. report it at one police station and the victim of the assault went to another police Morant station. So one went to Morant Bay and one went to Seaforth. And so already you can see, he went to one, one went to, each went to their police station mm -hmm. is what it would appear. But... Are we going to have conflicting arguments now about who has jurisdiction in tiny, tiny Jamaica and even tinier St. Thomas? So much so that something, it, the day should not end without the FLA taking in the license, the, the firearm, the from the person. and, and yes. making sure that people know that the, man's, the man who drew his weapon, it is being investigated to see if there was lawful cause. The day should not end. Already it is too late because it happened you know, yesterday you know, and they've had enough that, time to do their PR. Them, mm -hmm. The public would be on him like mm. nothing if a policeman did that. Yeah. All right. A policeman could have never get away with it. Mm -hmm. You know... It's a sad it? day in this country, I'm telling you. Well, the Morant Bay Sadly. mayor has said, so we have to applaud Hubert Williams for coming out and saying, this man is a school chairman. We can't have our school chairman behaving like that. Seaforth has been going through a lot, and it's unfair to those children there and the parents to put them through more. And he was calling for um, Jones to be removed as chairman and as candidate. If I were that man, I would Just come resign. out and I would have Apologize. Let me that resign. Because, because in the heat of the moment, branch. you did something that you should not of have Rada. done. Mm -hmm. Rather. Mm. Come out and apologize. Just do the right Take thing. responsibility. Take responsibility yeah. for it. Don't try to cover it up and make it look like it's justified. No. JLP has defended Jones. No surprise there. Of course they're going Public to Public Relations Chairman Robert Morgan saying he Denied. was confronted and attacked by two individuals who you appeared know. to support the PNP, yeah. which compelled him to take evasive. Such nonsense. We, we need yeah. to stop it. But we saw it live on television, you know, so even if it is place and you splice <laughs> or your doctor it's or whatever. Media, yeah. we know. So we know now how we're going to pray because we have had enough of this I speak for the nation because you know what? In me, yeah. there is a nation. So you, those who dissociate themselves the from what I'm saying yeah. must know that I speak for my nation. And when we pray, we're going in hard against this kind of thing that profits no one, not even the main actors profit because such is the way of the devil. He'd lure you into all kinds of situations and then he consumes you. Break time. Register just a click away. www.bestfm.com Streaming live on the internet. Looking to clean your vehicle super clean? 123 Clean Car Wash, located at 2 and a quarter Osborne Road, Kingston 10. Entrance on Grove Road, below Tropical Battery. They wash and vacuum, undercarriage wash, engine wash, polish and compound, shampoo and detailing. Call them at 876-631-3400. 123 Clean Car Wash, the best in the business for a cleaner wash. Believe me, it's so easy. Goodness mercy, it's me again, Lord, your restorer, your game changer. Join me every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and Best FM 100. It's Apostle Clive Campbell, a.k.a. the Khaki Soup Man, coming to you from 8 to 12 Orange Street, also Richmond District, Mandeville. Embrace the change. Do you need reliable health care? 
have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Willand. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Live, camera, volume. Leave it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibilayon, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Do you remember, Jalo? Yeah, man. Well, guess what? I love it. 4 to 6. What? Every Friday. Boom shot. And best one on the left. Boom shot. You ready? Yeah, man. You ready? Yeah, man. Well, I eat that. I love it. Who's fighting it? Tune in, beloved people. With that funny. Bless you. Best FM. Go! 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 The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats.
The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you whose servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. And today we come and bow before you, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the one who does not change, who has not changed, who has established your throne in the heavens and given to us the earth as our domain. We thank you for the responsibility and the privilege that we have, Lord, of being stewards of this earth. And we thank you for the authority, Lord, that you have given to us as your children in this realm. But even now, today, we come into the very courtroom of heavens and we ask even that the great intercessor will join with our prayers today as we lift up this nation, O oh God, before you. We thank you, Lord, that you have established Jamaica according to your plans and your purpose with a destiny in mind. Indeed, at the very foundations, we have a pledge that Jamaica may, under God, increase in beauty, in fellowship, and in prosperity and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. But today, Lord, we acknowledge before you, God, and we are standing, O oh God, in proxy for our nation. We are coming before you, and we are coming today in repentance before you, because what we see before us does not reflect what is your purpose for this nation? There is so much crime and violence in this nation. There is so much injustice in this nation. And that does not reflect who you are. There is so much innocent blood, oh God, that has been shed in this nation. And because of that, in a lot of instances, you have said that if we continue in this thread, you, O oh God, will spit us out. But today we come, Lord, and we cry for mercy. We cry for mercy, O oh God, even now in this land, even now, from Negril Point to Moran Point. We cry for mercy, that your mercy will be extended to us, O oh Father, in this nation as we bow down before you but you say lord god when we repent lord god and we humble ourselves before you you will come and you will heal this land and we recognize the land is in need of healing and we oh god as individuals who live in this land are in need of healing and the physical land O oh father is in need of healing and we invite you into our midst today you see all of what is happening you see leaders who have become self-serving who are not serving you lord god with the delegated authority that they have and we repent on their behalf and we ask indeed that you would visit every person in this nation who is in a place of authority a position of leadership across the different realms oh god visit them bring back to remembrance why they have been chosen to lead it is to serve the people, to be good servants of the people in this nation. And if they continue in the way they are, Lord, we say, deal with them. 
as you would as a just God deal with them even now we pray in this nation and we come even today and we begin to smash again and to pull down again every stronghold, every altar that has been set up in this nation. We take a stand against altars of witchcraft and divination, the asteroid, the modern asteroid poles that have been set up in this nation. We destroy them by fire, even now in the name of Jesus. And we make reference to the altar of the cross of Jesus Christ that was set up, that blood that was shed, that destroys every evil altar in this nation, even now, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pull them down, we smash them even now, Father, in the spirit realm. And indeed, we will see the manifestation that these altars have been destroyed even now, in the name of Jesus. We bring to you, Lord, the governance in this nation. And you see, Lord, what is happening in the houses of parliament. We speak a word. We speak a word against every high thing that has been set up. Against justice, Lord. Against fair play in this nation. We call back to remembrance that righteousness will exalt this nation but sin is a reproach and we bring back to remembrance of every leader of every member of parliament of every senator cause them to remember that fear of you O oh God is the beginning of all wisdom cause them O oh God to fear you and if they will not fear you, Lord, deal with them according to your good pleasure. And we bring at this point in time this election, this election, this local government election of which the nomination day will be tomorrow. The number eight speaks of new beginning. We come against the spirit of intimidation, of fear, that is being planned even now, whatever side it comes from, we smash it even now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we bring a halt to it even now in the name of Jesus. We bring a wall of protection that your blood brings over this nation. And we declare no one, not one single person, our God, will be harmed or injured or lose their lives. In the name of political violence. We declare that even now, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, on each occasion that we have the privilege to intercede for our nation, we seek to associate ourselves with your own words so that we may find favor mm -hmm. in your court, showing ourselves to have studied so we may be approved by you and this morning i speak from the book of revelation i speak the words which you gave to us concerning the church of ephesus and jamaica the island of jamaica is much like that highly favored church of yours in the early days this island known for its religiosity the number of churches far exceeding those in any other nation of comparable size or population. To the church of Ephesus, you praise them for their good works because our love for God in this country is proof of our willingness to work hard in your vineyards. You said, I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name and have not grown weary. Yet you say regarding this nation, I hold this against you. 
you have forsaken the love you had at first. Jamaica, so gifted, so beautiful, with every public profession of allegiance to God, the motto, the anthem, mm. a prayer. You are now saying of us, we have forsaken the love we had at first. And we repent of this, Lord, even now, as you chastise us. Consider how far you have fallen. You have said of us, and we are examining our ways. You have called us to repentance. And in as much as any two citizens can speak the words of repentance over this nation, we do so now. Lord, we repent. We repent of the hate, of the violence, of the blood shedding, of the abuse of our children, our elders, those with disabilities for whom we care so little. We repent of the thievery, the mockery of your divine will and purpose. We repent of the shameless abuse of the people under the guise of leadership. O oh, Almighty God, Jamaica repents. And you have called us not only to repent, but to do the things we did at first. And so now we come to you with love, with honor, with reverence. And we know that when you see us, you do not see the billions of us. You see your beloved Adam fallen but restored. You see your son, crucified, bleeding, abused, but standing tall in the spiritual realm because he sacrificed his life. And we are grateful that because you see us as one, what we say this morning has weight and impact and covers those among us who are yet to come to the revelation and the knowledge of you. You have said in your word that if we do not repent, you will come and remove our lampstand from its place. And so we pray, Almighty God, that not only will you stay the calamity, but you will continue to let us shine. Let Jamaica be the beacon of hope and achievement that it can be. I pray this morning that our nation will rise yet again and shine yet again. Because indeed our light has come and we will not miss the day of our visitation. In the name of Jesus, I pray this. I speak for my nation. I speak for my family. I speak for myself. Mm -hmm. I speak for the people yet to be born who will one day say the Lord is good. The Lord is good. And I pray that this petition and the declarations which we speak will find favor in your courts. And that Jamaica will rise with distinction that we will acquit ourselves with decency in the days to come the elections that are yet to be conducted almighty yes, god we cannot do it on our own intervene. we can only do it with you and we pray for your intervention that you will give us the eagle's wings to soar above these tribulations that when we are weary and faint, you will lift us up and carry us mm. because you are a God whose breast is huge, expansive. Mm. It holds all humanity. Mm. We're drawing from you this morning and pray that you will indeed answer of you as you have promised. And so we speak these declarations knowing yes, that the word once spoken shall be established oh, yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and we declare mm. that no longer shall the princes and leaders of this nation no abuse and oppress the Jamaican people. Mm. Let the ties that bind us be unbreakable bonds of love, respect, and equity in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare a time of freedom, empowerment, and prosperity for the people of this land. A season in which we will achieve with outstanding results in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that the administration of justice in every sphere of life, and now we emphasize in this area, this time of elections, that all we do will be freed from the limitations, the imagination, the maneuvering, the manipulations of cynical and unbelieving men and women who give no thought to the will of God or the purpose of God, and that justice shall indeed flow like living waters 
from this the throne nation. of God Jesus. into the bellies of every man and woman in this nation. In Jesus' name. We decree and declare that every Jamaican man, woman, child shall increase in knowledge of self, know who we are, and know who you are. Such that the creative power set there by you in all of us can prosper and excel. And that it would be unlocked in this generation and generations to come. In Jesus' name. We decree and declare that the hearts of our leaders, our prime minister, our business leaders, those in finance, in construction, in, in the administration, every part of our nation, may their bowels of compassion be opened to hear what we are saying, not to dismiss us when we cry out, mm. but to respond with the love, the generosity, and the respect that you have demanded of us in Jesus' name. Mm. We decree and declare that the ordinary men and women in communities across this land, because, Lord, you care about what happens between sheep and person. sheep. No. It's not just about the leaders, mm. but that we in our ordinary lives will become families that work together in Our harmony, just, pulling just, together just. to assure the well-being of all members, making sure that our children, our elders, and our women, and those with disabilities of any kind are well provided for. We decree and declare that starting today, 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 the seventh day of February 2024, starting today, Men and women across this nation shall arise, arise, pick themselves up from wherever they are with energy and enthusiasm and zeal and determination to return to our Eden, our place of abundance, coming to you in humility and repentance so we may reclaim our identity and bring prosperity to our communities in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that all citizens... Be filled with the spirit of shameless audacity. Such that we shall persistently seek out the goodness and the blessings that are ours. What you have set for your children. Ask for and secure the benefits of nationhood. Especially now that we are moving to choose our leaders. The leaders in our community in the local government. May we just knock on every door that should be open to us. And take charge of our destiny in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that this nation will move as one in submission to your sovereign will. So that the world may see your power and your greatness. And you, almighty God, will be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. And we decree and declare as we close. That Jamaica will love the Lord their God with all their heart and with all their soul and with all their mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And we declare over this nation that every Jamaican will love their neighbor as themselves. We thank you, God. And we declare and continue to declare the revival over this nation from Nigger Point to Moran Point. In the name of Jesus, a tsunami of love and the fear of God. In this time. Amen. The national budget is everybody's business because it impacts every Jamaican. The time brought to you by the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service is... The time is now 8 a.m. Register click away www.bestfm.com Streaming live on the internet. Best 100 FM Broadcasting live in all 14 parishes. Hanover 100.5 100.9 St. James 100.9 Trelawney 100.3 100.9 St. Anne 100.3 100.5 St. Mary 100.5 Westmoreland 100.1 100.5 St. Elizabeth 100.1 100.5 Manchester 100.1 100.5 Clarendon 100.1 100.5 100.9 
St. Catherine, 100.5, 100.9. St. Andrew, 100.5, 100.9. St. Thomas, 100.5 and 100.9. Best FM, giving you the better vibe. On your dial, keep listening. Hello, I'm Roisin Hasty with the BBC News. Two bomb explosions in Pakistan's Balochistan province have targeted the offices of an election candidate and a political party a day before national elections. At least 22 people have been killed and many others injured. Caroline Davis is in Islamabad. The first explosion happened in Pasheen district in Balochistan. We understand from officials that this was outside the offices of an independent candidate in tomorrow's general elections here in Pakistan. Then within the course of not so much as an hour, we heard of another explosion 150 kilometers away in Kila Saif Ullah, also inside Balochistan. This explosion took place at the party offices of a religious party known as the JUI. At the moment, the police have not revealed the causes of the blast and we have not heard of any group claiming responsibility for them. Ukraine has again come under sustained bombardment by Russian missiles and drones, with at least four people known to have died. Three people died in Kyiv, another was killed in the southern city of Mykolaiv. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, is having talks with Israeli and Palestinian officials in Tel Aviv and the West Bank today, as he continues efforts to negotiate a ceasefire in Gaza. Details have emerged of Hamas's response to a framework deal put together last week. Nick Beek has more on its counter-proposal. The talk is of a 45-day initial phase during which the hostages taken by Hamas on October the 7th, the women and children would be released. Then another 45-day period during which other hostages were released, the men, and then finally, the bodies, the remains of other people who were taken would be released in that third stage. At the same time, Hamas has put a figure on how many Palestinian prisoners they want to be released from Israel. And the figure is 1,500. Quite a lot for the Israelis to accept. Sweden's public prosecutor has closed an investigation into the sabotage of the Nord Stream gas pipelines. Three of the four Nord Stream pipelines linking Russia to Germany were blown up under the Baltic Sea in September 2022. Here's Danny Eberhard. The blasts caused the Baltic to foam with escaping methane and further damaged international relations ruptured by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Kremlin has always blamed Ukraine and the West for the sabotage, something they deny. Publicly, at least, the Swedish investigation has thrown no light on the mystery of who the perpetrators were. More than 16 months on, the prosecutor said Swedish jurisdiction did not apply. There was, he said, nothing to indicate that Swedish citizens took part, nor that Swedish territory had been used to carry out the attacks in international waters. You're listening to the latest world news from the BBC. The United Nations is appealing for just over $4 billion to fund humanitarian operations in Sudan and neighbouring countries hosting refugees. More than 9 million people have been displaced by fighting between rival military leaders, which began last year. Ethiopia, Chad and Egypt are struggling to support refugees from Sudan. Zimbabwe is doing away with the death penalty nearly 20 years since a hangman carried out the last execution. The information minister said cabinet had approved the abolition of the death penalty after a countrywide consultation. No date was given for the law change. Human rights researchers say a Chinese government app aimed at preventing fraud could be used to monitor Tibetans. The investigation by Tibet research groups found the National Anti-Fraud Centre app could monitor users' texts, internet browser histories and access personal data. The group's Turquoise Roof and Tibet Watch allege some Tibetans are being forced to download the app. A pod of killer whales trapped in drift ice off the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido appears to have escaped to open water. 
Here's more from our Asia-Pacific editor, Celia Hatton. The fate of the killer whales off Hokkaido Island has gripped Japan for days. And now it appears to have a happy ending. Officials say they think growing gaps in the ice helped the pod of whales free themselves. Drone video had shown at least 10 killer whales, or orcas, crowded together in a tiny opening in the ice, bobbing up and down to catch their breath. The footage appeared to show some with bleeding jaws, possibly linked to attempts to get free. Japan's Coast Guard said there was little it could do to help. In 2005, a pot of 10 whales died after getting stuck in ice in the same area. BBC News. <laughs> Looking to clean your vehicle super clean? One, two, three clean car wash. Located at two and a quarter Osborne Road, Kingston 10. Entrance on Grove Road below Tropical Battery. They wash and vacuum on the carriage wash, engine wash, polish and compound, shampoo and detailing. Call them at 876 631 3400. One, two, three clean car wash. The best in the business for a cleaner wash. One, two, three. Believe me, it's so easy. Mal Jam Auto Parts, the place with the most courteous staff for all your Mazda needs, is doing it again. A new Mal Jam trailer has arrived with parts to meet any and every Mazda need. Call 461 1786 or 923 4389. Mal Jam Auto Parts, 9 Kingswood Avenue off Waltham Park Road, Kingston, for all your Mazda needs. Goodness mercy, it's me again, Lord, your restorer, your game changer. Join me every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and Best FM 100. It's Apostle Clive Campbell, a.k.a. the Khaki Soup Man, coming to you from 8 to 12 Aaron Street, also Richmond District, Mandeville. Embrace the change. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Live, camera, volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Do you remember, Jalo? Yeah, man. Well, guess what? I love it. Four to six. What? Every Friday. Boom shot. And best one on the left hand. Boom shot. You ready? Yeah, man. You ready? Yeah, man. Well, I eat that. I love it. Which one is it? Tune in, beloved people. We're there for Bless you. Best FM. Go! 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 Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Best, 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 best.
morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the Morning Connection. It is now 11 minutes after 8 o'clock. I hope that you have listened to our prayers because you know we're taking it up a notch. Man of war. Mm -hmm. I know Judah come and do what only you can do. So we are opening up the lines for you to to speak to us about the issues of what's happening. 876-619-1508, 876-279-8473. And we encourage um other people to call us. I know a lot of people see me and they say, and we'll listen to your program. Call man. Or drop us a line online at um what is it? The morning connection at um on YouTube. YouTube is YouTube. YouTube. That's it. Yes, it's YouTube. <laughs> they will no, find us sorry. on Facebook also. <laughs> on Facebook. And you know. one of the numbers, the two seven nine eight four seven three number is a WhatsApp number. number. So you can so call you us can, and oversee yeah, yeah, if you need to do what you need to do. And we love to get we do love to get the feedback because you know, um what we do is not for everyone. So those who are consuming it with approval, you can Share with us and just build our strength and our faith together because you know what they say. Beat unto you according to your faith. If you want that mountain to move, mm -hmm. got to focus. Got to speak to mm. it. Yeah. I'm really excited, Percival. I'm looking at a video that um, Lowell shared with me just now. Um, one of our sister churches in North Carolina, High Point, have mm. bought a building and it's amazing. Occasionally they listen into the program. So I just want to say congratulations. You have inspired us and it's just no, no place but up to mm. the glory of God. I love it. I love it that men and women across the world are making time to put God first. Mm -hmm. And I know that they didn't buy that building out of the offering plate. Mm -mm. I know that the leaders decided that God needs a house. In mm -hmm. every society, God needs mm -hmm. a place where his children can gather. Mm -hmm. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Connection. Hello, hello. Blessed morning to you all. Blessed morning to you too. I, I, yeah. Do you want to see? When I hear, when I hear, when I hear the Prime Minister talk, they say, oh, them fit after, oh, them fit after the thing. And unless, more I whisper, unless more come out to the doctor one. You mean with the undoctored one? <laughs> yeah, 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 because, um, it's when we listen to, to what they are, they are patient and what they are, you know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, I'm here, the brother come out and say, when you go look on, 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 on YouTube, look on a thing, uh, and him start describing. Mm -hmm. A man, a man in a, in a, in a car, in a green shirt, and a man walk over to him in a red shirt. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, when we call it, them say it, 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 it's saw them start punch punch. <laughs> till 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 the till, till, man till in the out in one green shirt man draw out in one dark and my say red shirt and green shirt. Mm -hmm. Red shirt man draw the green shirt man draw out in one and the red shirt man just just create uh, and turn back. And and by him turn back a two two green shirt man had come walk up to, to the red shirt man and start being from this the can kick. Yes, it, it's, you know, you know, I know we don't typically have children listening to the program um, at this hour too because they ought to be in school. Well, they to school yeah, they yes, school. but what? it is a graphic and unseemly display of exactly what we speak against. And it's the kind of thing that the ombudsman would have taken immediate control of the scene, so to speak, and begin to address matters. Oh yes, yesterday you were you're still in yeah. shock. Yeah, you know, from from it look like a friend when you last time and get you the ambush man. No, from no, it, it they 
and you Two know years. she did a, an interview and she spoke about it she had like a few investigations going which did not yes. augur well for the yeah, the, the jlp um yeah, the, participants uh, my, my, uh, my 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 report to both doing that when, when i'm investigating you know oh yes <laughs> why yeah yeah because i'm telling me uh, a man coming in with a handful of paper. Oh, yes. And a wolf, a man said, what about him? And, and, a fear, then go fear. Mm-hmm. So, and, so my man, then, where, 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 not his last name. Yes. Uh, you know? Yes. And them things, eh? Yes. So, so me, I say, in a, this, this section, we can, we can, we can run it out to us. So, yeah. we have, we have, like, yeah, mm. like over and say that the race of her with that steward. Yeah, or is that different kind of thing steward, you're man. doing? More than one steward. When when we it when we when we around, I have steward about three or four steward there on the track, you know. In them in them I I I so uh and they have clear clear view of the field. Yeah. Yeah. Well listen, okay. there is a steward you see, Vervine, who's yeah. who don't sleep. He don't slumber, yeah, he don't take naps, yeah. he don't go for a walk, yeah. he don't turn him back on the yeah. race. Yeah. That's and why make me see. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, him man. have many yeah, agents, man. many agents yeah, who will I, I speak. I know that, I know that there's many, because you know, I didn't feel like I'm alone, you know, but I wonder what people are not see. But then you know, me hear some people, that like some people start, you know, start, you know, sort of thing to post to run. And, but them can't have, that I think. Them can't say, but them can't have. It's changing. It is changing. It's changing because it has got personal now. It's got personal. You have a family in what's the place called Trinityville? Yeah, man. You have a family saying we want justice. We we had to drop the case because we are in fear of our lives and our safety, and um, so they can't even go before. Yeah. So this this is what. That's why I say, oh, oh, people be happy, you know, them, you know, them kind of happiness that they put on. And we, we have too much fear. The mm. happiness can't come out of it. Mm. Mm. We, we, we and have too much fear. Mm. Okay. So it's being addressed. It, it's being addressed, man. It can't continue that no, way. No, continue that way. There. Speak well, again, well, see. One next, one next thing again. Go one ahead. Minute, minute. Yes, go ahead. Me hear, me hear, me hear the people, I say, like, like the next people, I say, DLP, DLP, we don't go to DLP. So I'm we I'm we are saying, well, we are going to make up with no mind. We can, we have to show them, we have to set a mind to them, because they have no, to put for them, they have no mind. So we have to set it, you know, them. And then we have to go to PNP, because the best thing is, that's the best thing, and, and a better one. And, and we can, them, them kind of wickedness, so we can, you know, go to a live on life. And we have people that are about, what am I seeing? Younger people are still in my team as you. Mm. Uh, and yet, still, they know that they're the man PNP and not being car. Well, Bervan, let me say this to you. For this season, and um, I didn't even say that to Pastor Percival before, but I'm going to say it now. We're not going to be campaigning. When, when, when persons call, you can speak about the issues and so on, but yeah. we are not going to be openly yeah. saying, right. Yeah, so yeah, you have said your piece. piece. Uh-huh. Don't take it any further. But I said this to you, yeah. right, if you're calling yeah. people out to vote, which is what we're doing, we're saying participate, it is your government, then you yeah. and I have to be prepared to stand by the decisions they mm-hmm. make. One of the things that I, I had to school myself on early in my career as a lawyer the first case i had all i could think about was winning i did not want to lose then i said but what is this the stress i put myself under let the case speak for itself do my job as a lawyer offer the evidence find the law and let the decision fall where it may just know how to explain to the client if it go left or right what their options are i then took I got back the years that I had taken off my life fretting about these things. I said that to you. We're not gonna fret about the results. We want people to come no, out. No, I'm not fret. Right. Let I them come out. I saw it for go. I got to see the results. Absolutely. 
All right, so, my brother, I have another caller. Yeah, yeah man, let's say love to everyone. To you also. All right. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. So, Pastor Percival, I see you're still taking with the video. Are you seeing it from a new angle? Is that the undoctored version? <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about it? It's amazing. <laughs> we only hear about it. It's the first time I'm seeing it. Oh, good what? morning and welcome. Good morning, ma'am. Mr. George, King George, I apologize. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> What say my, you? My, I had, <laughs> my brother also. King Percy? Yes. <laughs> oh, Percival, my partner in... In kingship? In prayer. Your partner in prayer. Oh, yes, I forget that yes. you're the father of prayer. Yes, 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 you know. And uh, as I said, no campaigning. And the real of people talk about what they talk and move on because we don't want to... We don't want to bring this station in that type of mm. atrocity. Mm -hmm. Let people speak their mind and go on because we just want to continue even after, before and after, and uh, down the road we still go on. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But you know, I I have seen and know that there are uh, Bustamante and Naman, uh, there were two cousins. There were cousins. Yeah, cousin them. You know, so that's why the Queen, and the Mufalas are the Queen does give over the country to the, to the two cousins, them. And that's it. They are family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I saw a very disturbing video mm -hmm. with a gentleman in a green shirt was attacked by a man in an orange. And all of them attacked the man, and the man after pulling firearm. I know the Prime Minister, the one, the man that pulled the fire was the, the one in the green. Mm -hmm. To back off the one inside, the one with the orange. Mm -hmm. And the Prime Minister said, mm -hmm. it's a police investigation. And he said that um, the the JLP councillor was um, defending himself because the man keep charging at him. Well, you seem to be yeah, agree I mean, in agreement with that but, position. But he said he's not, a, he's not in agreement with it. He's not in agreement with so the pulling of the, the firearm. This, yes. Oh, okay. Is that but, a statement since morning? Yeah, he said he's not was... in agreement with it. Mm -hmm. And he take the member of parliament that he, you know, he, uh, he defend himself, but he shouldn't um, go that far. But anyway, he said on the investigation of the police, you know, what I'm saying is, this silly season, each time this comes, we call it silly season. People just look at color, you know? We just stop it. People are full time. 1962, uh, 2024. Come on, man. Stop that foolishness, man. People get on with them life, man. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I know me no I talk no more about it. I'm not move on to something else. Mm -hmm. I'm to move, yeah, move on to something. What just, is your just, something else? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's an um, irritating spirit. Mm -hmm. You get the money from the old trust yet? Which one is that? Who's getting money from the, Housing the, Trust? No, I mean, me, no, you, me, I go, me, I go for them one, go 10 million. <laughs> <laughs> housing Trust is giving away money? They're giving away money enough, you apply for it, man. You're a pastor, you know everything, you know, you're a teller. Yes, I'm because, a friend that teller. because he has applied. I applied and gotten, I've gotten benefits and paid back. And so on. I know. That's why. That's why I said it. What the thing I want to everybody that work paying all the shows. How much people? What about thousand people pay? How much people get get the house? You know that is a that would be a very interesting analysis that needs to be done of the persons who have paid over the years. How many people have received benefits from housing trust based on what has been paid? Good right, for we, thought. We have four persons in this room. Who has received a benefit? You have. Lowell, you ever received a housing trust benefit? Like a house loan? You haven't. I haven't. Lloyd, you ever applied to? Lloyd hasn't. So, that's so right. four persons in a room here and only one so applied and got something. But I've never you applied. You, you never I've applied? Applied. No. Have you ever applied, um, Georgie? George? No, sir. Okay. So what's your curiosity? What is, it, what is your curiosity about it? What, why? Just a few people. The people that keep contributing, mm -hmm. when they apply, 
they, they are being denied and some people just uh, no, sir. apply and go through. So I wonder if it's somebody knows somebody or somebody. No, no, somebody. me never know anybody. Me just apply. No, 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 no. No. If every person that were pay on the trust, it come out of your pay. Yeah, but but I, I think that would be an unfair thing to say about the housing trust because they have eligibility requirements. You meet them, you are approved for something. It's not a if you are denied yes, it, if you are that denied are it, for years. Yes, but and I know people that don't supply their day and get you and you be working out for be, 10, 15, 20 years and you have got to have people who go on through less than that. No, because get they're eligible because they, they qualified. You have to qualify. You qualify by reason of the amount of the contribution, okay. so the amount why? of the money you need, and the kind of facility that you're getting. If persons, yes. if persons study the, the arrangements, they will mm -hmm. see what it is they can get because they do grants. Yeah, the grants. They're they they do grants. renovation loans. Mm -hmm. They do, um, I, they do um, loans for first-time homeowners. Mm -hmm. Life I don't think land, I don't think um, the, I don't think you can plus. go there for a second house. No, you get fifteen plus. Yeah. All right, is it monetary that they have person, they have built on your own on your own home land. your own land yeah, yeah, um, when, facilities? When, 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 uh, yeah. yeah, so so everybody who make a contribution can qualify for something. You have to choose the right something. <laughs> Everything requires yeah, knowledge, you know, George. Why monetary for every person that were paying all the jobs? All to them pay. Why? Because it is a social fund, meaning it is society's <laughs> way of contributing to fixing a problem in society. Government is government of the people, you know. They mm -hmm. might not look that way. Mm -hmm. But if we want to have a low-cost fund that people can mm -hmm. draw on to own a home we contribute our money i have contributed and never got a loan but it don't matter to me because you know of people they like do you have benefited <laughs> other persons have benefited that, other, that but why you don't have, why don't you apply why don't you apply for me? something yeah no, apply no, but you see, but you, you see, man. George. A lot of people apply and, and get through. George. And the people that we are different. George, you asked, you asked a question. A lot of stuff there. I don't get you. So I just wanted to feel with him. And there's something no, no, George, no, there's no, 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 how, right. else, so how, under, else, how else will tax? How would taxes be collected if it not come out of your pay? No, those who those who are not on a PAYE scheme have yes, the opportunity to go in and make the payments as they earn, and it is so flexible. If you don't earn for a while, but you want to have a benefit, you can go in and do a lump sum payment so you can accumulate points and be eligible for something. <laughs> well, not you never know that. Me. Oh, yeah, I know. I oh, know about it. So everybody who, everybody who I is denied. I can say why every person, it's not for you have to pay. And you're not, and you're not, it's not so you tell them that it has to come out of your pay. Yes, because the it arrangements, because the need for housing and the cost of housing requires all hands on deck. Same thing with health insurance, with the NIS insurance. It's a social fund, and it's all citizens who are in, who are earning an income, making a contribution. Because you know what, too, the day will come when you are not earning an income and can't make a contribution, and it's the contribution of others that will allow you to get medication, housing, the care of whatever social benefits there are. That's why it comes out of your pay at the source and it's all people who should contribute. And it's one of the reasons why Jamaicans need to get into the, pro the, the, the program and hold their government accountable. For because what all of us are contributing. If you're not contributing today, there was a time when you contributed, when your mother contributed or your father or your relatives. So you have a stake in it. All right, George. We go, it's, or it's time to take, to take our, our break. break. Yeah, man. All right. Thanks, George. Right. Thank Good you, my brother. House. All right, George. Go apply for right. it. Go apply. Now apply, Fima. One on one. All right. All right, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 
are just a click away. www.bestfm.com Streaming live on the internet. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Half a tree, half a tree, one and drive, half a tree. Bossy, how we, how we do a tech taxi start? Jano, I want to tell you, say, a two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and I check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, we waste all that time and shop around and never call the experts. Winters ought to have them. Them have over 35 years of experience and them diagnose your problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service excellent and efficient. Trust me man. Yeah, you hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me send you. You big star. Yeah man, respect my boss. I try and call him because trust me. Auto spares and repairs. Good afternoon. Ah, what a relief. Half a tree, half a tree. One already, two and Ready, mama. Ready, ready, ready. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. Looking to clean your vehicle super clean? 123 Clean Car Wash, located at 2 and a quarter Osborne Road, Kingston 10. Entrance on Grove Road, below Tropical Battery. They wash and vacuum, undercarriage wash, engine wash, polish and compound, shampoo and detailing. Call them at 876-631-3400. 123 Clean Car Wash, the best in the business for a cleaner wash. believe me, it's so easy. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, welcome to The Morning Connection. Thank you for calling. It's now 34 minutes after... Yeah. Good morning and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Finally, I see a comment from Mr. Paul Stewart with which I can agree. He says the caller is too cynical. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, you mean George? George. No, man, what George was saying about the NHT was not was not making a lot of sense. Say what, dear host. Many things are, are bad in this nation, but I don't think favoritism in getting loans from the NHT would be amongst them. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Non-performing line. Mm. But, you know, there are so many things which... and Oh, good morning, Miss Jacqueline Biggs. She said good morning so long ago and I've been looking at it and smiling and not acknowledging. Forget that she can't see my smile. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, tell me something. Yes. You, 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 you see what that, you see what that thing is, that, that, um, thing on the TV last night, you see what? The video? The 
incident or the center much. Did you view that thing there? Y yes, and right now in studio we're looking at it from several different angles. What did you think of it? It is clear that the man come out of the man and attack the man, man. The man will stand up there and say that the man come out really attack the man, man. In fact, we're looking at it now, and there's an angle from which it looks as if somebody pulled him down to the window level of the car, and he disappears from view until the door opens, and you see that the attack is, is going full force. Oh, I never saw that, but I would this is that man first attack that man. Because, you know, it, and it hardly makes sense that a man is going to go over to the car window and be in conversation and then suddenly he attacks. It, it's more likely that he comes over and cause offense to the person in the car and the person in the car come out and give him a thrashing. I tell you something, you say, you listen, man. Yes. This is Spam, you say, Yes. He's a dangerous fellow, you hear? <laughs> yeah. You understand? I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You know, yeah. he, he has earned that criticism from you, especially yeah, because. The first the 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 Yes. That the video. That guy, that guy is a dangerous guy. The blood that guy here. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm living in Jamaica here. I'm living in Florida, but this is real. This guy, man. This guy is a dangerous guy, man. There's a word that people been using. What they would have been saying? It's what unfortunate. His his res, his response to the questions that were posed to him really unfortunate. Yes, man, I was it would have been better if he had now. just remained quiet until he could say the right things. Uh, let me tell you something. You know, the whole of Jamaica, you know, the most on the point where they know what is going on. The brother said to now. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Because you know, sometimes it's the it's the eyes of someone outside that will see more clearly what we're missing. Another call on me. Yeah. Good morning and welcome. Morning. Good morning. Morning, uh, SFM workers. Good. Good morning, Cruz. How are you today? I know who is so much credit is so full on <laughs> jump and he jump and so run over. <laughs> I, I hope it's a small jump on. I have. original big jump on, man. Oh, dear. Oh, right. oh. Right. Oh. I wait for long. Frank Judge, I wait and oh, tell wow. the advertisement, I wait. And then we get cut off. Now we call again. You have to call again. Okay. Sorry yeah. about that. What's up? Uh, <laughs> you know that the guys that brush that, that, that clean out that that Calbert. Yes. After they left, you know, somebody came and took the picture. That's the work they did. Okay. So what what that tell you? It's a quick money. It's a quick job to collect some quick money. You understand? So what's wrong with a quick job to collect some quick money? Wouldn't we all love that? <laughs> uh, you don't understand that part, Miss Minute. No, what what does it is that code for something that Miss Minette is missing? Yes, Miss Minette. And let me tell you something. A lot of work, right. a lot of I see the producer. I see the producer smiling. So it looked like road patching. Those work should be done from the Christmas. And they held it back. Yes. Are you surprised? I mean, if you were in power and you felt that you could delay certain things to get maximum advantage from it and goodwill from the people who, with whom you're blessing with this quick work. Wouldn't you hold it back? No, Miss Minette. Really? I am not that type of person. Okay. Oh, so that's more why you're not a politician. politician. Yeah, more power to you. I have a clean heart on this station, trust me. I may be, I may be mad sometimes and talk some things that people don't like me, but I have a clean heart, the honest is heart. I listen to everyone. So, you know, um, it, it's, we are just, you know what, we're just aiming for good, decent living and decision making. We're not trying to get angelic conduct because they're not angels. So something like holding work until you can get maximum credit for it. It's the least of the crimes, though. I don't even know if it's a crime because everybody's strategic in when they when they organize the work. 
How but do you feel minute. about the use of gun and intimidation and vote buying? Here, here this thing. Yes. I was taking my son up to Palm Mountain in school. Yes. And there was a little spot. The whole ro road needs fixing and brushing. Yeah. But there's a little spot. I mean, maybe about 50 feet or a little more. Mm -hmm. I saw one guy in a green cleaning it. Mm -hmm. One person cleaning just that spot. So I know those guys are activists. So in 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 case not giving, they have to do something to get money. Yes. They don't just want to give them free money. So they have to give them a little job. Create jobs. To get money. Right. So it's campaign is around. So those guys won't get those money. Mm -hmm. But like I am saying, it seems like black people mm -hmm. is the easiest people to be bought. Not not me, of course. Nobody can buy me. Well, no one can buy me. I, I cannot mean, be bought. Are you talking about slavery now? <laughs> we <laughs> seem to be the easiest people to be bought. It seems like we are the kindest people. We are easily fooled. Are you talking about bribery? Yeah. We accept. Right now, I know a lot of people in Santa Cruz know that don't talk to me. They don't like me. Because I don't talk a lot. I go out there on the street, I don't call to everyone. And they send me boozy and all those kind of stuff. So how are you going to be, how, how, to how, how are you going to teach people if you're standoffish and could rightly but, be described as boozy? I, I can tell you one thing now. If yes. I go out in the park and buy all of those guys a beer, I'm the greatest man in Santa. Please don't buy them a beer. Buy them orange juice or something no, nutritious. No, I'm just telling you, I don't drink alcohol anymore. No one again, I take it. Yeah. Because I help, help wise. Yeah. All right. And I, have, I don't have money to do those kind of stuff. I don't go to club and bar again. Well, I'm trying, to understand, I'm trying to understand what is on your heart this morning because I do believe that nepotism or any kind of you know cronyism, cronyism in in the awarding of contracts all no matter how small they are Wrong. is something that we have to stamp out and if even if work is being held back so it, things can look particularly bright closer to the election date there should be some system where those who qualify and ask for it can get work even if you're just trying to curry favor with them so you could get their votes because that happens but too Miss Minette, yes. both parties give their supporter work. Trust me. Because then I that's what I was trying to say to you, that it, it that's just a strategy that people use, whether you are but, in on one side or the other. But you seem but to be Minette, troubled by it now that the Ms. ones Minette, in government are using it. Yes? Miss Minette. Yes. When over the past years, when we are watching it, mm -hmm. when KP in a power, mm -hmm. you will see our 12 maybe PAP, maybe one labor rights mm. activist at work. But no, you will only see like one person in a green or two I do a job where 12 years to do. Mm -hmm. You understand my point? To become more efficient. Or, they, or they're more righteous. Which uh, What are you saying? You're saying they're mean to themselves? Are them Some free. bigger guys is taking the bigger portion of money and just are like, too little so you're saying there's corruption within the corruption? Yes, it's All right. worse. Don't worry, the arm will fall off. It's worse. All right. And I was watching the news last night where the Prime Minister opened that road. Yes. And they were all green people and they were talking of prosperity. But did they forget that 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 um that that thing was the PMP supposed to start it, but they lost the election. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you that. lose the election. The man who project. wins spread himself out of all of the things them. Let that be a lesson to people who lose elections. <laughs> yeah. But how they lose it? But Don't matter. A loss is a loss. By the rich men. The rich men buy, buy that. Then go, buy and sell that then go get anyway. your own rich men to support so your campaign. I, I've seen it. All right. Like but, I always say, this part when it comes to... They, PMP take an egg, you know, but this party take the whole poll. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. <laughs> well, you know, in our book, stealing is stealing. stealing. Yeah. You know, get no better simply because your ambition is low. 
No, 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 Miss Minette. You're wrong at that class. Stealing is stealing. stealing. Corruption is, stealing. is corruption. corruption. The magnitude no, of it don't stealing, change the picture. Stealing is different. There's bigger steel than just like you have. First degree and second degree. Yeah, but all, all of them are going to be in prison. One worse than one. You kill somebody, but one worse. We're all going to be in prison. That's what we must aim for. Because you can't say there are small corruption and big and corruption. Big, uh, big all corruption. of it is corruption. And we need to change yeah, that mindset, it, you know. As but if Cruz, one is tolerable, but Cruz, the other we need one to can be excused. All right? It's inexcusable at all okay. levels. Yeah, man. Thank Rock, you, my brother. Man, man. We have another call. All right, then. All right. Good morning and welcome. Yeah, Franco, I know. Hey. Hey. hey, Franco, how are you? I'm hanging, man. I'm doing yeah. the same, you know what I mean? Bless up. Mm-hmm. So what you do? Uh, I may listen and I say, no must make them look a PNP coat and then JLP coat a compound of <laughs> All right, the first thing, I take offense. Our callers are not coots, whatever those are. <laughs> uncouth people, that's what coot mean? They're uncouth? Hello, coot calling, but we ain't into none of these coots, man. So you none don't plan these, to vote? None of these coots ain't got the answer. P and P J, none of them coots ain't got the answer for my people, yo. Okay. Yeah. So what? So what are you proposing then, um, Franco? Long time we're not here. What's up, what's happening with you? What you? What do you think we're going to solve the problems? <laughs> Righteousness, man. All right. We, the problem, man. All right. Now there's a word that I like. These little coots, man. <laughs> man. Stop coots, saying coot, man. please. It's making me laugh. Coots, man. Promoting PSP, man. It's another coot promoting JLP, man. That, that, that's going to fill your plate, yo. What about my other people, yo? That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Those selfish little coots, man. Uh, okay. Well, um, oh. I am in agreement, though, that we're not campaigning. And I don't want a slew of calls saying green and blue and orange. We're we, we shifting from, from, yeah. that, from that place. Um, sure what was... Be. Yeah, this point about big corruption and small, small corruption. corruption. Please deal with the corruption for me, Pastor. <laughs> Put but fire then, to the corruption. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know... We don't yeah. not have no, no tolerance no, no, man. for big or small. Corruption. This one will steal the egg, but that one take the, the fowl. fowl. It sounds funny when you say the, it, but the but truth is, leave the egg on the fowl. Mm. Everybody need breakfast. You're correct about that. You're very correct about yeah. that. Yeah, leave the fowl and everybody can get the eggs um, and it can be spread around. And it's, it's so interesting how we see it. It's all right. But yeah. that is what we, has we, caused it to mushroom out of so control. Yeah. No, man, we mm. must stop it. Because yeah. it just eats away and it, 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 it touches the fiber, fiber of our country. And yeah. if we're not going to stop to it, it's going to happen. So I'm not going to pretend that it's okay that one not as bad as the other. The two things. Hello, bad. morning. Good morning and welcome. Yes, morning, Pastor. Good morning, Barry. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. I do the place I go around and things. So I have to give thanks to that, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, man, um, I want to talk about the environmental disaster down from the, the, the sea coast. You know, yeah, Negro Land. Like, yeah, man, I saw yeah. it. Wow, Negro we, um, West End. The whole thing washed up. The buses yeah, and vehicles and everything. Yeah, I mean, the check is it, not just Negro alone, you know. Montego Bay, too. Montego Bay, too. Yeah. Yes, I, I, mean, I think it's reached as part of St. Elizabeth to tour me here. Well, listen, no, anywhere no. there's sea and we're surrounded by water. Yes. If it was so last it's night, it's coming. Those, those people who are on to the seaside, at least them have a warning. Because here was the environment, the, the, the environment fully mash up. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So when it's a channel, we can look at any type of disaster. You know? So I think they need to um, look seriously and take to the hills, move to the higher land. Mm. More than me to the sea, you know? But it, but it, as you think about what happened in the Negro West End, um, I heard somebody commentating that they've been making representations to parish council, making rep, rep, NWA and saying that thing is deteriorating and need to fix it. And it's coming like, as the man said, they have a goat mouth, a little bit of um, 
cold trough that is here that is causing the weather because Cayman is, is worse though, you know. You see all the you see pictures out of Cayman, the water coming so much, you might have to be rescuing a gentleman, the police, them over there. So, yes, I really see that. I yes, saw that, so. yeah, it is it is unfortunate, but but if there are things you can do that can mitigate, you know, but if you don't do prevention. Mm-hmm. then you're going to pay more when the actual thing when, happens. And, and there really is no cure yeah, yeah. because the boundaries of the sea are not set by man. Right. <laughs> so, so you go anywhere at mm-hmm. any time. You mm-hmm. understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you have really started thinking about it and remember you say a lot of people are heading to the sea So I land in a better place really, you know. Okay. I'm going to check it. The, the, the two are going to win the disaster, the environment, I'll get more and more upset in the car. A lot of poisonous things in the atmosphere. You know, because even the walls that we are going to have your poisonous, dangerous weapons mm. explode, you know. And that gun in the atmosphere, so, you know, you know what I mean to ask that? <laughs> I'm yeah, not being well, good steward, no, Barry. You, you, you're making an interesting point, Barry, which absent the, the, the clear scientific um, data, there is wisdom in our, as people acknowledging that the earth is, <laughs> everything moves at a certain frequency. And all the things that we do, even the lies we tell and the abuse that we impose on people, create disturbances in the atmosphere i mean when we talk about the spiritual realm some people think you were talking about ghosts and and you know superstitious activity but the truth of the matter is when we as people conduct lives in which we abandon principles that honor respect and protect the environment and each other we are creating damage which is going to show up in some physical manifestation at some point Yes, and, and are we, the people, are going to suffer? <laughs> you understand? Yeah, so, we don't take you, we have to know where to car, even, even the aisle, you know, them say, in a Guyana, they know. Yes. Remember, say, that I, I go, uh, that I bring more environmental hazard than, you know, more than even the good. <laughs> because when, when it brings the environmental hazard, that affects everybody. But when they make a money off an of island, just then, <laughs> you know, that so, would benefit from it, depending on how on on how they on how they treat it. But you know, for example, when Venezuela came up with the Petrocarib policy, it was their way of sharing the oil money with the non-oil producing countries in the Caribbean region because they said, and I so appreciated that wisdom. They said the oil that we draw from under the sea. It's coming from, a, it's for all of us. Mm-hmm. Right, yes. It's for all of us. It's kind of, <laughs> it's ironic to see Venezuela now squaring off with Guyana over the same oil, but different person. That was um, the prime, the, their president who died. Mm-hmm. Chavez, Chavez, that was yeah. Hugo Chavez. Chavez. Maduro, Maduro, Maduro has a different, has a different um, feeling, yeah. Yes, and even at that time, it was a good thing for Jamaica because we used to get the oil for East. Half of course, price. yeah. We you got the, we were we borrowed money from them to pay for the oil, and we were allowed to keep the money on soft loan terms to build certain infrastructure in our um, country, which we never did. And this is something. This is one of my projects, Barry. Right. I, I, as it is, I know we are, we are not too friends with Venezuela anymore. No, because the government <laughs> that had a good relationship with Venezuela lost the elections and has not been yeah. restored. So who knows? Because the, the, when you when you go to Venezuela, Venezuela's relationship with Jamaica is more than skin deep. Yes, but yes, but it is carried yes. it is carried in a certain bloodline. Yes, yes. Just like the relationship with Cuba. There's right, there's yes. there's a vessel in which it, it carries it's carried that is specific to, you know, certain political sentiments. So anytime that vessel comes back on the table, it's there. Yes. Yes, yes. Jamaica well, is way too fickle. Yes, and you, you see, right now Jamaica is a very, you see a lot of Santa Cruz, hmm. a lot of garbage. You see, don't pass in the main road here, a lot of garbage. 
So you're not getting and efficient have, collection. And, and we are going to have a local government election. So what are the local government we're doing? <laughs> You see, um, so the, that's why that's why I'm telling you, I'm not going to vote, you know, because I'm not going to do. Because last week, I'm going to go to go to the cruise market. I'm going to tell you, the place is dirty. Right down from the street, right down how many jobs you put up out there. When you take one, when you take one, I mean, what do you take one? And then we're going to have, we're going to have it done. You know, I'll and always, anyway, I will always <laughs> remember one of our callers who, who said early in the day when Percival and I took this show and there was talk of some kind of um, lockdown during the pandemic days which might have caused his um, agricultural produce to spoil. He says he's telling all the farmers, bring your trucks and bring the, the spoiled produce up to Jamaica House. So citizens need to know, citizens need to know how to let their local government representatives feel and smell what they are living with. I mean, you can't, yes. you can't give them the, the bad roads, but you certainly can. Right, and even, even my road here where the council drive on every day, a bad, bad road. And the council are coming, but I tell you, say, one of the council live leaving, there's a couple of chains from my from road. We yes. have to represent over Balakava way. And I said, bad road, he might drive on. So, they're not doing the work of them to do. They're not getting paid for nothing. So, anyway, they're around, you know. All right, my brother. Take care. Stay yeah, safe. Big up to all callers and listeners worldwide, you know. Big up, mm -hmm. big up. You know, um, quite recently, Percival, I was listening to something and, and a scripture was quoted that spoke about the earth becoming restless mm -hmm. by man's the, as a consequence of man's idolatry. I didn't hunt it down at the time, but um, it triggered a recollection I had of really how I understand that certain things are set, that the laws like the laws of gravity, um, mm -hmm. sowing and reaping, um, the law of lift, all the different laws which we come to learn of in the natural sciences, that they operate as a network that holds this universe together together and when you begin to break laws break laws break laws you destabilize the this the the earth itself and it becomes restless That's so even the sea and manifestation of the, the sons, sons of, god, of god to correct it to correct it so this restlessness that you see uh, what was it um splashing dashing restless sea <laughs> mm -hmm. the restlessness that you see earthquakes the shaking of the earth even in, in is a response the economies to the and so steward on, is a response to the, to the, the steward. unfaithful stewards yes good, good morning, morning and welcome good, good morning morning hey hi cruz good it's morning. 858 what's up yeah what's up no me have to answer some people you know what um uh, uh, JLP and PMP have around the country, you know, no matter what, we have two parties. Now, who want third party come and it's better than PMP? Okay. All right. So, what are so, you defending? So, they they must have to make a decision. What are somewhere. you defending? So, all who are talking about PMP and JLP. No, no, no. I don't want you to resort. Please. I don't want you to resort to trash talking. That's not who we are. What are you defending? Are you defending? Are you defending? Yes. Are you defending the right to come and campaign for your party? Because I'm not into that. I said it before. We're not going to come no, and campaign. I'm saying, there's two parties here. Yes, so but the point was one of, one of them. the point that the caller was making is not about acknowledging that we have two parties. It was about campaigning. The come one come and said vote for this one, that one. So far. The PNP is ahead because nobody's coming and say vote for the JLP. But I don't want it to become a, you know, vote for this one, vote for that one. This is the best. That is the best. No, no want to talk know, about that, issues no. of I governance. Know, that's I know that. That's it. I know that's not what you're saying. I'm telling you that you should be focusing on issues of governance. Okay. Yes. And let and people that, choose. Focus all the time. Okay, then. I thank you for that. I hear the good, phone ringing. Good government. Good government. Good, good. All right. No good. Cruz, who, 9 o'clock. We're taking our break. You, you, you we're, we're, yes, that is true. That's true. We're taking we our break hide, now so we, we can do the. Top. We're doing our station break, my brother. Call us back. <laughs> right, just a click away. 
www.bessfm.com. Streaming live on the internet. One hundred on your dial. Keep listening. Ah, one and I want to tell you, say, at two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and I check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, we waste all that time I shop around and never call the experts. Winters ought to have them. Them have over 35 years of experience and them diagnose your problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service excellent and efficient. Trust me man. You hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me send you. Whoa, you big star. Yeah man, respect my boss. Now try and call you because know, trust me. Auto spares and repairs. Good afternoon. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> Maljam Auto Parts, the place with the most courteous staff for all your Mazda needs, is doing it again. A new Maljam trailer has arrived with parts to meet any and every Mazda need. Call 461-1786 or 923-4389. Mal Jam Auto Parts, 9 Kingswood Avenue off Waltham Park Road, Kingston, for all your Mazda needs. For discussions on health and education, inspiring interviews, surprise giveaways, your favorite songs, tune in to Best 100 FM this and every Sunday at 11.30 to 12 noon. It's Distinction 411, your weekly college magazine program hosted by James and the Distinction family. Catch you on Sunday. Grandpa! Where are you going? But see ya. Uh, I have business down by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You know how to leave the yard, Pops. Just call 888-225-5577. You mean if you tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they just give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for you know young people. Vejam Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vejam Printers, your best choice in printing. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> good morning and welcome back to The Caller Online. Thank you so much for holding. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Mrs. Lauren. Good, Good morning, morning Miss Mary. Good, Good morning, Miss Mary. Good Thank morning, you for your Mr. birthday Lauren. wishes. Reverend Lauren. <laughs> Thank you for your That's birthday wishes, me, Mary. I'm not telling anybody. Anyway, morning, Mr. George. I got two lovely bottles of um, detox from him, you know. I want another one. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Pastor Percy and Miss Minnes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got two bottles. They came up here. 
Morning, Dave. Morning, Mr. Branco. Morning, Cruel. <laughs> Miss Minnett and Mr. Percy and everybody. Who is in charge? Can you tell me who is in charge of signs on the road, road signs? I think it's um, the NAA. NAA. Yeah, Mr. McKenzie. NAA, I think. National then, Works Agency. The major yeah, sign. but there is a there's a part for um, parish, the council. parish council because uh-huh. you have to pay a fee and you have to get permission to erect signs on the road and they charge a fee whether you have it they on a building. They charge the resident? Not the re- well, they charge the person whose sign it is. Oh, so if it's a business, the street sign. Which one are you talking? About? There are different. There are t- there are different types of signs. So which one you're talking about? The street sign. Let me let me tell you something. Yes. What happened to me Friday morning? Mm-hmm. I asked somebody to pick up a package. A gentleman, Mister Carl, to pick up a package for me off Elizabeth Avenue. You can enter it from Constant Spring Road by Queens and make a left and then a right. Or you can enter it from Lee's Food Fair. It's off Elizabeth Avenue, Fairview. Mm-hmm. I went there 2018. And no sign was there. Anyway, I directed Mr. Carl and everything. And he went there. It was raining. He went before it started to rain, but it was raining where I live. And he was there for about half an hour. And, he, you know, it started to get very vexed because it's Friday and he wants to do some work. And he just could No sign was there. So he had to come for me, and I went mm-hmm. with him and searched and searched because the place, no sign was there, mm-hmm. and they, they even improved on the homes around there. And most of the places, no signs at all. You can't find the, 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 the places at all. So the signage that gives you the names of streets and so on, that's definitely the parish council. Yeah. And it's not only... It is not just one place. Although I see that citizens we occasionally down to, uh, to their have own. a park road there. They are not. person that is going to run as an independent um, candidate. Mm-hmm. And the, man, the gentleman, I know his name is his cousin, was saying there are not, not many street signs out in Harborview area there, even stop signs and pedestrian crossing out there and four people got killed. You know, this is very serious because, and the road is very lonely down by Elizabeth Avenue because when we went, I went there with somebody 2018, about September to collect some things and we were held up. A oh man on a bike. Wow. How long yes. ago was that? That was recently? 2018, September. Mm. And no sign is there on the, the road because I said to Mr. Carl, you didn't see anybody on the road, no. So I had to ramble around the place. It yes. was found the, the, the place fair but you all know, of the um, era, not only that road alone. Because but, he drove around and said, see, see the place here, see? But at the same time, I think some of these um, um, taxi people must Google and, you know, um, be really Yeah, use the, use the on. GPS maps. But one of the projects that tend to be acceptable at the community level is for communities to create the signage for their you know, names of the streets and, of course, number your house. That's your job. Um, because it it is it's really citizens who suffer when the signs are they get faded or they they're torn down or they were never erected or whatever the case might be. So that's a great community project to even to interact liaise with the Mr. local government. Citizens Association, Mr. Carlos yes. was saying to the lady. Yes, See, those are great projects to do to make sure your com- your community is well you know, recognized and uh, whatever streets can be identified, so the streets are identified. The only thing I don't recommend that citizens do is paint um, crosswalks, make up their own crosswalks. Oh, or paint <laughs> the sidewalks with or, different Well, colors. they're not supposed to do that at all. Oh, they are not? But to, go out to paint then, the sidewalks with different color, no, they're not supposed to. Oh, That's I different. thought it was... I'm rushing like... All right, Miss Mary, thank you. The national yes. ID, can you use that to vote with? 
National Voters ID? Or? Uh, the national. No, the, the one that's called the national ID is actually the voter's ID. That's what you vote with. Yeah. Th that's what you vote with? Yes. yes. Oh. I but you know, I have to, I heard somebody say no politics, but it's not really politics. I think I heard the prime minister saying no, he's the best prime minister Jamaica has ever had. We said no campaigning. <laughs> we can't say no, no politics. But, uh, no, but you know. I so he has given himself a grade, all. you're saying? He's, he, he gave himself the, a high grade. And another time, too, I think Mr. Shaw said when 2011, the, um, or 2009, when the recession in America, he said it would not affect us at all. Oh, we remember that, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you know, yeah. I don't understand these people. You know, I'm not in any of them, you know. Mm -hmm. I because do they have vote, talk about sand bandits. And that people mustn't wait on them at all. I'm very busy, just had to take um, some time off to speak about that um, that thing Friday morning because it cost me more money and time. Because okay. the man had to come and pick me up, take me down there, and take me back up here. And I have work to do. I'm doing a lot of work for people. So all right, you people Mary. have a blessed day today. Thank you. Here. You too, Miss Mary. Thank you. Good. Yeah. So the Prime Minister says he's been the best Prime Minister of Jamaica ever. What did you say? I didn't hear. I, I never heard it. Give himself and, but a I saw somebody online saying that you... What this government... Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> good Hello? morning and welcome. Yeah, bless you. Good morning. Bless you. Yeah, man. Bless you. Hi, Righteousness. How are you? No, I'm there. I'm Righteousness. I'm out, you know? Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? Yeah. You know, so you know, just in peace, you the peace, so I say you get peace, so I try to know who the peace, you know. So, um, like all the people in part two yesterday, you know, came to and jail together. Oh, they and came big through big your motor. area? Yeah, in a big motorcade. At the same time? Yeah, man, all of them with a bike and with a vehicle. Okay. I come out and come look. <laughs> so, two, 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 long, you know. Righteousness, what and, area is that, please? Central Kingston. Okay. All right. All right. So, all the south side and all the Tel Aviv and 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 Cape Town and and then I go straight through. Me know how far them I go. Like um, um, vehicle and uh, all type of some you know, crowd. You know me I tell you know. Mm. And then they took the. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, the people are going to the opening if they're going central. To central. The where so. Kingston. Okay, we're the opening of what? Because the road, the road, man. The oh, road. well, the 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 vid, what you saw on on the news showed only the the JLP. Is that the same road we're talking about? Yeah, but if him said them passed through, like they mm -hmm. must go in somewhere. So I'm figuring. Yeah, but you said both. Both. Uh, oh, you mean the PNP was going one place and JLP was going another place, place but they're using the same road. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Still, he was celebrating it as a sign of. Decent unity, unity, which is refreshing. So we take it My at that level. My question is, who didn't get them? Them people there now work at that time. <laughs> Good morning and welcome. Yeah, you know, you know. Yes. Yeah, sir. um, yeah, man. Um, some of us are just like more than keep the unity. You know, I know I not agree because we didn't have peace. They said peace, you know. So was something happening right, in the area or? Was just man, just no, right now, two elections and empty made them so the people say they good. So whoever organized that is a good organization. Oh, so their destination so was Central Kingston. No, but what I mean, you know about you know because uh, we are a big crowd and a big excitement and a whole party, mm -hmm. you know, really, you Okay, know, no, so I just mean like some, were they driving through but or when the crowd can't do now when you go in over reality. The amount of people where you can't count. Mm hmm not green and orange. Okay. Mixed together in a vehicle with a bike and with a van and oh. uh, car and police and I call it but it, 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 it's like a flash too. You understand? It's a big, big motorcade, you know, like a simple thing for sure you them to right now. You know what I'm killing no one there, you know. So if them can hold that, that came here and they have to come back to you. What do you imagine? What do you imagine? And they kick off to, to come to a big thing, you know. Yeah, you know? yes. So they must hold you, you know, what's that we're going to send them? Mm. Well, cool. the unity. So me like the organization with them do cause the whole problem I'm here tell about, you know, because they say nothing gone already when we come out and look, you know. Because you excitement, I'm really 
what excitement dance over to me, a excitement can do. You know, come with a long the boss was van and car and, and, and police patrol and light a flash and whip a soap man. Whip a yellow, with orange flag and green flag. Well, listen, no fun, um, righteousness, and, thank you for bringing yeah. that information yeah, man, to our attention. Yeah, man, I love a righteousness. All right, my brother. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, man. Because oh, you know oh, it wasn't covered by the media. Okay. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. You see, uh, I hear everybody talking about the... JLP man and pulling his gun mm-hmm. and so forth. And even if the person who him pulling gun pan no wish to make any report. Yes. I feel if they have the right they, they sure after do watch after watching the video mm-hmm. to take action. Of course. They do. Because it is stating the FLA act never to pull your firearm from your waistband unless you're unless planning you to destroy something. Mm-hmm. Mm. And when you pull that firearm, you pull, pull the firearm and, and shoot whatever is there to destroy. You don't pull the firearm and have it in your hand and yes, find it at like, somebody. like an accessory. And, and put it back down and say, all right, then, yeah, may, may I, everything all right doing that. No. Mm-hmm. The last state and FLA act Never pull a firearm from the waistband unless you plan to destroy something. And the new legislation championed by the Prime Minister says gun offences carry a minimum of 15 years imprisonment. That gun become illegal if you pull it from your waistband and you know, fire around or nothing. Yeah. So that thing for me in your life wasn't in, 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 any, in danger, any danger, danger. at all. But all of the events that came after it showed that he was in no danger. He had his squad of men who came and beat the man, had him on the ground and so on. So you can't have your, your team and say you feared for your life with a man who, why who was say, not say armed. This, that the law don't go for some and it don't go for some mm-hmm. and some it, 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 it don't go for. Well, we are waiting so, with great interest to see what it's happens two, it's next. Two to it, you know? Yeah, it's two it, to it. listen, must about but six passages. There's a video show when him driving in the man premises. Pastor has and it is, been it watching is, it many. Is, the, the, video, the video show that it was a money transaction. Some money transaction going on. Yes, you see someone at the window collect and they money collect the, money from somebody the, in the car. A young lady went in, mm. a young lady went in first, him took mm-hmm. up a white plastic bag. They call some money to she, mm-hmm. then the next young lady come to the window, and then some money passed to she, and she mm-hmm. starts counting money. And she stopped and counted, ah. So it was a money drop. That's what so it's it was called a money in the drop. movies. It was a money drop. A money drop. And then you have the temerity to be speaking disrespectfully to the owner of the premises. Go take off your shirt. So it is said. Yeah, because this is, this is the type of Jamaica we are, we are, they want us to live in. Yeah, we reject it. We reject it. And yes, I do not expect the day to end. If the day ends and the FLA don't say their piece, then the FLA is seriously compromised right. beyond redemption. Because they've, right. they've had their moment in the spotlight and they've and said their piece about what is changing and so on. So the chairman of the FLA had better be making it clear to them that this is not the time to remain silent when we don't even have an ombudsman. I didn't hear the Prime Minister's speech till now, but if the Prime Minister come out and say them splice video. He didn't say splice, he said yes. um, edited. It's a Gleena said them splice. Yeah, the Gleena used edited the word. Edited splice is the same, it's basically the same thing. Same effect, because you're you saying... To, you, have go in, you have to go in and go edit it, edit mm-hmm. and we are edit to so make it look... You're um, saying it's been manipulated to contour to the your, truth. Your, 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 what you want to fit, are you to um, yeah. put in what you want to put in. And I don't think he but should have been making those kind of him, judgments. He shouldn't make that, that, that talk because he's an expert in, 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 in <laughs> this, this type of video. Well, <laughs> you mean, <laughs> you mean in, by is so doing, he's, he's expressing expertise. Huh? Well, who knows? The day is so young. If you're coming out and covering up for, for the man, your own bench and bottom, yeah. you're going to say, a man and protect him life. Yes, yeah. Protect it from what? And that, who? And that's a legal judgment. That is uh, that judgment requires knowledge of law and some facts you know, that he you know would have I had no that. experience with. 
if he, if the Rasta man did a step in, when when him, him come out of the van and grab the man and start lick him up in the head or something, he would have damaged that that that, that gentleman um, even more than how he yes. did damage before, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Car from the other person see my beat that man, him run come even more mm-hmm. aggressive. Yeah. And the man is at his own premises. At his own premises, you come with your your, your slap this and the man from the to of my place. Yeah. So those were criminal offences being committed right there in plain view and we expect to see the, the, the consequence of it. And the thing that I as the individual either, I didn't see the the, the gentleman that the orange have anything like man. No, he had a red rag in his back pocket because I didn't see anything in his hand either. But from the moment that man is crouched on the ground with his back turned to you, the threat has passed. Exactly. Exactly. Because I'm going heard you from behind when him yeah. back turned to you now. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Well, a man can't hurt you with him with him more physical unless he have something like more to switch on you. If he kill you like snake or something. Yeah, yeah. But him yeah. can't always talk. People you as a firearm holder have the responsibility to to take the matter in um by you, you know, drive away. By driving away, because you're in your just car. Drive away. You're in your car. Yes, even if you and your motor, you're on the man, man's property. Away. Well, we saw what we saw. Let us see how much um, spin doctoring is going to take place. Because this one requires clear denunciation by the JLP. And to date, they are saying self-defense. Ah. Uh, they are always right. Yeah. All right, my brother. We have another caller on the line. Thank you for sharing with us. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, love and blood. How are you, my African brother? Uh, my helicopter fly overhead, you know? <laughs> yeah, what? It's, is it my people... helicopter fly overhead. Is a helicopter going... is flying over the head? Is yeah. it? Is it a certain someone over going to work? Head, I don't know who them are, watching. are they going to work or you have, you have your placard out? No, I'm not. I'm not um, they need to do it now, man. Time come. When we are now. Hmm. Why politician want to walk around a gun? <laughs> there, there's no threat to their safety. <coughs> you wouldn't say we're living in times when one could realistically say there's I'm I'm I may be at risk. In any in a other country, Miss Minetti, mm. ever hear a politician shoot a man yet? We have heard worse. Huh? You hear worse. No, I never hear a politician shoot a man yet. I know we are part in, a, in, a, in, a, in a other country. So what do you say? Hmm. In a Jamaica, politician. Mm-hmm. I don't want a gun for us with man. I don't want to shoot nobody. Huh? Huh? I don't know that it is unreasonable for a politician that in Jamaica man. to have a firearm, a licensed firearm. Maybe, maybe in an ideal, maybe in an ideal society, they wouldn't even need it, but they would have their armed guards who walk with them. Yeah, but a councillor wouldn't have that. A councillor is not at the level... To, to be getting yes, one, close, get close protection here. officers. He have men who them kick get, them, and, and swing fists and... Them get them raised up here. I don't think get they want to spend it on, you, on if personal if you bodyguards. If your life feels threatened, you get a bodyguard. Uh-huh. You're not one of gun. All right, my brother, I hear your point. If you were a politician, you wouldn't need one. I would not need a gun come in. I shoot my citizens. I'm a politician. Now. Who never shoot? Mm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, the, 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 the police have gone and, gun and they, they shoot citizens. Yes, at them to go shoot them. them, them no, we, they are supposed to protect <laughs> us. <laughs> no, them train them to shoot. We can't cast or go up. Okay. Now the training we then get. So if we want them to protect us, our business that the training we then get. It's to shoot to finally cast or go up. 
Power there will stuff. come a time when politicians and even ordinary citizens won't need to be traveling with firearms. We're moving towards that day. But I think at this point what? now, to, to mount a case that they shouldn't have. Some of them Mr. travel with money. Some of them going to areas that are quite volatile. No, I, would, what, I wouldn't what deny that. Maybe people don't trouble them because they have gone. What kind of gun, Mr. Minetti? Anyway, African. Yeah. Anyway, this that that point is really not worthy of our spending too much time on it. Um, anything else you want to say to me this morning? Because we do have another Mr. caller. It's good, it's good. Love and bless. It's good to be here. All yeah. right then. Thank African. you for calling. Uh, one more thing. Yes. One more thing. Yes. The road. I hear a lot of road problem a come on the radar, so the road them mash up and now fix on them. Yes, and them. especially the more it rains. Yeah, I think I think them to spend some money on the road, Bedroom. They are yeah. doing just that. Spark. <laughs> huh? Spark. They are doing that. There's a plan to spend no money on. on the roads, all right? Give some All, all right. right, then. Good morning. Good morning, caller. Thank you for holding. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm calling from the parish of Manchester. Yes, hey. sir. Welcome. Good. Welcome. My goal is to be exact. Yes. Yeah, we have a serious, we have a serious problem in my goal, and I would like to, to be heard by you and over the air. Yes. yes. What, what is, is that? the problem? All right, nine out of ten houses in my gully burn plastic garbage because of the done collection of garbage. You know? Yeah, you know. Wow. And then, then the more problem. Yeah, you know. So the garbage we collection have, not happening. We have a lot of mini dumps outside of our community. Wally. Wow. And how long has this been so? How long has it been like that? For the past 10 years. Oh. Yeah, and we call everybody, and when we call them, they say, call this or call this or, My and we get God. nowhere. So who's the MP for ma in for that area? That's Mikael. Mikael Phillips. Oh, the, the minister who... No, the the yeah, MP, ma. sorry, the MP who's the, not getting any support, support from for government. The for the bridge, yes. mm. And all the constituencies that the government do have a... Are suffering a, in a that way. Here. Yeah, it, 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 it's abandoned. Yes. Yeah, because you know, have a yeah. bridge that's been calling out to be fixed for the longest while. Yeah, man, it's abandoned. Uh, our community, Manchester, has become an abandoned parish. Oh my lord. That's what you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're hearing you. Yeah, all right. Let me give you an instant. If you travel like every mile from where I live, you can count 1,500 bottles of soil on the roadside. I'm mean, going to do what we handle on the grass, you know, mm -hmm. do what we can just look on. So when the government are walking around and send people to peep in the drum, that is just a part of it, but that's not really important. Yes. We have over half and four hundred and a half thousand buckles lie down in, in our constituency. My Lord. No, man, that is a national disgrace. That requires yeah. like a massive initiative. Yeah, to clean up. That, yeah. Yeah. Wow. The mile for so, the town. The mile for the town. As a dump, just outside. At the town for the past 10 years, every now and again, it moved and as it moved, it, it accumulated, it built back up, and now it is at a high level. You understand me? And the worst part of it now in this community is the burning of plastic garbage. The, the plastic, yeah. Yes, because it's after a while. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Respiratory illnesses and so on going to be the order of the day because not everything you can burn. And it's no, affecting the environment. Manchester now is not is on, is on the spotlight right now in terms of vital illness. Yeah, and the air quality. Illness. You understand me? Yeah. And all this now coupled with, with, with the lift over from the backside industry. Remember, all can is now yes. functioning. But the residue Ooh. from the production of 100 years of backside is, 
It's begun to do not. Yes. Mm. You know? So, so the very first thing we hear about talk about is mainly passed by the dry up drum that they have. We call it the um the wave. Waste, waste. Water mm-hmm. dump, yeah, from, from, from the um the bauxite process. The refinery. Yeah. yeah. All right. That now is dried up and producing dust. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yes, so that's a whole new that's a whole there. new new there Very should be stuff. a way to just declare an area yeah. like a disaster area and intervene radically. My brother, right, we have to. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. Mal Gully, we, we need to. Yeah, we need to take our station break. I don't know if you want to hold or call us back, but we have to. Yeah, we have to break at That's this point. station break. All right, my girl. Thanks for calling us. Yes, much more to talk about, but I'll call you. Yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Yep. All, All right, my brother. It. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Register click away. www.bestfm.com. Streaming live on the internet. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Woodland. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Half a tree, half a tree, one already, two and Ready, mama. Ready, ready, ready. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. <laughs> VegJam Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. VegJam Printers, your best choice in printing. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. Grandpa, where are you going? But see ya. I have business down by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You know how to leave the yard, Pops. Just call 888 888- 225-5577. You mean to tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they just give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for you, young people. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good.
it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to the Morning Connection. It's now 9.35 a.m. Um, do we have a call online? Africa love bongo person. Oh, good morning. Oh, Ross Kremlin, how are you, my brother? Oh, they are, uh, you know? Yes, what's but, on your mind today? What is on my mind is that a man get a firearm license. Yes, sir. To protect his life. Yes, sir. In land. Yes. And in wealth. Yes, sir. Right, now... If I have a life of firearm mm-hmm. on an election day, <laughs> and I am for war, but in a polling station, I go through the gate, mm-hmm. and I pull the spot my arms, you know, like my arms exposed. Then a police going to come to me and say, man, charge me. For just that the arms exposed. No. A man as a counselor. Mm-hmm. Where a man is a stranger to Jamaica culture, right? And he must see a proper representation of the theme constituency. And then it happened that him going to have some fight with people, right? And it happened that them say a third party come in and him have a backing firearm, right? No, I look for you know what I say. A counselor or an MP, he should have known that he cannot afford to get himself mixed up a certain way. Right? If I look good and I realize that we go to a look good, now I support him. What him do? He can carry and drive away. You know what I mean? So when it reach your confrontation now, one man can, you know what I mean, a two man, a final confrontation, you know. I mean, believe you now, if, if, if the counselor they respect him responsibility and respect the people, then me hold him, you know what I mean, responsible for him action. Yeah. Because he should have known kind of party should I tell him, you know. So watch out. We can't go in a place with gun, you know. Because maybe not for back with a gun. Mm. Right? And if we're back with a gun, we're not a label party. And it not sure say we don't really come for, you know what I mean, help the people then. To serve you the know? people. You come to learn it over them. Yeah, because we can't serve people with gun, you know. <laughs> well, some people think different from, from you, you know, Ras Kremi. We have guns because we keep the people subjugated. So that's why we have guns. We keep them in fear and intimidated. Oh, that is some people. All right. But someone only get a license to fire and protect him life. Yes, in property. In property? Well, and in land. Mm hmm. Right, that are the three main things we get our license for, a permit, mm-hmm. you know, for have a firearm that is registered, legal by the authority and the law of Jamaica. By the FLA, yes. Right. Right, either we have concealed arms or may unconcealed. Mm-hmm. Because a man can conceal a M16, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But him can mm-hmm. can't see a little revolver. <laughs> I want a little nine MM. Oh boy. You seem You're very familiar. familiar with your weapons there, Russ Kremlin. Eh? You seem very familiar with the weapons, man. Did you but, serve? Uh, That's old soldier, you know. <laughs> when the past soldier, I'm a past police and Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, what you talk like you expect me to own a firearm. No, <laughs> not to own one, because you're a man of peace. But I thought maybe yeah. you served in the military or something at some point. Yeah, well, I have some military experience. Not that it's really physical, but mm. talking to soldiers and talking to police. Okay. But we discuss the rights, you know? And then maybe hear what they're saying. I me analyze what they say. You know what I mean? I me get to understand certain things, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? 
Yes. So we are saying now, sister, minute. Yes. You believe that every citizen of Jamaica have a licensed firearm? Well, not every citizen. And if you have a firearm, it should be licensed. Mm -hmm. Right. But I think those who we... those who want it and ha are prepared to be responsible in their handling of it yeah. shouldn't be denied yeah. the opportunity to have one. Well, so Mr. Jamaica, I run now. I mean, it's just, uh, most of the people them who are get there is a man, one man have a gun and one have none. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, me da, me da like a little change of the system, you know? Since Jamaica reached this stage you now, that man does a kill man like bird and a kill woman and pick me. And you think them see dog, cat, rat, my sack. Then me believe them for adjustments to make. If there's a decent citizen, a law abiding citizen, mm -hmm. you believe he must have the same permit like the rich man. Yes. Yeah. If you want it and you qualify, yeah, it shouldn't as matter. Long as as yeah. long as you are qualified to the requirement. Right. I believe you know, if you want it, you get it. You know what I mean? So, there are a lot of changes that go on. Mm. Wow. But he has raised, uh, you know, what do you think? Well, I'm not one. I don't. Um, I don't support the use of firearm outside of law enforcement contexts. I, my preference would be if no citizen <laughs> needed to have one. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, but if you if there's a regime and people qualify and apply, it shouldn't be an issue. Good morning and welcome. I got cut off a while. I yes, yes. Then again, no. Everybody, everybody loves them life. Up to the bird and love them life. You know what I mean? So, something I've done that, you know what I mean? Remember, we were granted that when we come in power, you know. Now, if you have no burglar bar, and, mm -hmm. you can't sleep with your door open. Still looking but forward to that. That is, the, that is part of the agreement, you know. Mm -hmm. That is the protection where the government now they say I'm going to provide. You know. Yeah. So yeah. It, no, it's even a high end door. Mm. You're dead. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Anyway, me, you know, me not to hold up the program, I'm not too talk around, you know. <laughs> and now, as I say, keep thanks to the Thank you, sir. All right, then. Keep thanks to the, all of the ones that I'm talk, producer and everything. Keep thanks. Blessed love. All right, Russ Gremlin. Yeah. Mm. Um, what can we say? But um, the law was passed by 21 to 7 in the parliament yesterday. Where the rest of them did? Mm -hmm. 21, 21 and 7 make how much? 28 out of 63? Oh mm -hmm. my lord. Government side showed up to do their job and yeah, well, then, uh, if and get have, on if with you, it. If you have 40, what is it? 49? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's out here. Simple majority. Mm, simple majority. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you know, don't when you pass a law, you have to have regulations. Depending on the law. So that, does that need regulations in terms of what they have said? Because it, I think it will because um, how the how the ombudsman is constituted out of the EOJ mm -hmm. will require articulation. So that means it was just do it for passing sake? Well, one, to give it a home. Mm -hmm. So I've not seen the, um, the act which amends... Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I haven't seen what they've passed, but you would need to give it a home. It previously existed in a standalone office. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be a, like a department in another institution. So that organization that's taking it in will have to establish itself in a way that is consistent with the act, and possibly they will use the same, the same kind of provisions that operated under the 
original structure. Okay. Just, you know, blending it and mutating it as <laughs> needed. Wow. Um, but uh, there was, the opposition had proposed a, a panel of three independent persons or neutral persons who would, you know, conduct the hearings and the investigations and whatnot. But the government has said, no, you have nine. So each commissioner of the electoral office is a de facto ombudsman. <laughs> so you have, so some, they have to bring it to the point where citizens know, how am I going to appeal against a decision of this office? Um, all the different communication. They, they, so they have a so test forth. case. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they've, it's interesting they've that come out the blocks with a big case. A big case. <laughs> no, the truth is, they, there was a little case that came earlier. The defacement of this man's um, signage in the right. They scratch out his face. See, I, you have no face. Yes, you can't face the electorate. Oh, no. wow. All right, we can stop punning. <laughs> no. So that's the first, that would be the first case. It was waiting on the docket. Um, and then now this is a big one. This but, is a big one, you know, because yeah. not only the, the, the subsume office of the political ombudsman, it is now FLA. Oh. So the, the new... Ombuds people, yes, <laughs> the nine of them. Yeah. They can just say that is a police event. Let the police do what they're doing, and then they just take a position on the political aspect of it. If they accept that from the evidence, it was polit politically motivated, or had that they had all the appearance of it. So it's interesting. They will need some regulations. I think so for good order. All right, let us just give God thanks for taking us through the morning and thank the people on air and online. And the um, new callers. And the callers who have come on board, both new and old, quite frankly. Thank you for sharing with us your opinions, your thoughts. Give us a counterpoint. If we're not in total agreement with you, at least it gives us a better context for understanding what you're thinking and just saying the word in season that will allow you to progress beyond that first thought. All of us have to move away from just thinking about it a little bit and say, me can't bother. Or, you know what, me not care. Do something. We want you to arise and care and push, 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 push. Because this nation will not lose its lampstand. The Lord is not going to take away the lampstand, snuff out our light because of our disobedience and our refusal to repent. In studio right here, Pastor Percival, thank you. Lloydy, Lowell, thank you all very much keeping us company through the morning so that um, myself and the listeners could get through the day and have a shot at being successful at the end of it. Psalms 101. Mm. What did you just mutter? Psalms 101. Mm, the Psalms I the day. declare that this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. I yeah. sing praises. Yeah, man. Right. But I decide to do what is right. All right. All. Stay tuned. Miss Wireways is coming to you in a short while. Did we play enough Bob Marley tunes yesterday? I think a whole lot, man. Or we still have one left in. They might go tired for see I face. think that's the one. That's how we ended. Rat Which one do race, I want? Talking Blues? The human race. What race? Yeah, do a song for me. Or please. Emancipation. Just for me. Old pirates, yes, they rob them. No, we're not listening to Percy now. Percy and the so old pirates. <laughs> Percy and his old pirates can take care of their own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Bob Marley love song. Cold <laughs> Crown was my bed last night. Worthy is the king. Worthy is the lion, not the steel conquering. Worthy is the lion. Worthy is the king. Worthy is Messiah, so we sing. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you.
find its reason in every season. Yeah. 